So I want to know because you already mentioned it. What? What? How do you know when you're not in love? What's the first him? Damn, boy, yeah, what? What got done over the weekend? So sexy this week. God damn, light skin man. Look, he can't smile, y'all. All talk about. <laughs> you want to clap it up right now? Start it off. Fuck it. Before you even say what you want to say, let's go ahead and get <laughs> right. <laughs> Just a little clap it up. This is how we start off the pod, man. Oh, man. I can't, we ain't, y'all act like we ain't got something to do this week. I can't be fresh when we go there. I mean, oh, yeah. shit. Oh, shit. I forgot all exactly. about that. I'm <laughs> getting, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'll get you. I'll get you. I'm, 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 I'm going to get done up in the end of the week. He, he waiting till what y'all doing Thursday. Day of. He got a show. I got a show out there. What you do? Music. Let me hear some. I will. I got you. You sing or rap? Rap. Okay. Yeah, I'll be rapping sometimes. What you be talking about? <laughs> speak up now, nigga. Talk about me. Dog said, dog said, speak up. Niggas in God. Dog speak up, so I like I'm whispering or something. <laughs> nah, I be. Nigga, yeah. do you rap or what? <laughs> no, <laughs> talk <bro>. to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I rap, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be rapping. I'll be. I don't, I don't do all this it. music on any platform that you want to go to it on. D Bass, Apple Music, Spotify, okay, yeah. Title, Spotify, Leave YouTube. Me music. Leave me alone. You let me understand. talk. Why he, since he ain't doing none of this, no, for real. Follow his Instagram. Listen, follow on Flo, Flea. Oh, my shirt at. We we got plenty of them. We gonna get you one. You matter of fact, I need you. I need you. Yeah, you got one. You got some some in the room, Loki. Okay, what's the I what's do got the name of the song? Room, yeah, uh, it's a lot of songs. It's like Give me sixty one if I songs. Find you real quick. Uh, on the way. O O T W. That's one. Okay. That's one. That's one. And now spell your name. D space is he- bass like the fish. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Queasy. What you doing? It don't even matter. Whatever you're doing, good looking. We need you to make sure these things right, because she, we're going to need you to speak into the mic. Tell her, bro, you, uh, she talking. She going to play it. That's funny. <laughs> 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 I just had to make sure I had it. That's funny. So y'all be using that guitar back there? No. no. Oh, that's for, that's sure. for the, yeah. But we got hom- my homie Vaughn. He called with the guitar. Why you saying that, though? What made you say that? Because I want to learn how to play a um, bass guitar. Oh, um, shit. You, yeah, you need that because I need somebody to <laughs> live yeah, perform. I don't like know me. how good I'm going to be at it. I'm just infatuated with a bass I'm player. I'm going to have to get, in, get you in with in John. In the music yeah, that they produce. Yeah, I was about to say my nigga John. Uh, John yeah, do that shit. Lessons. And he do lessons. And he do, and he do lessons. That's, that's oh, his, no, for real. It's a white dude. I'm saying my nigga, he is my nigga still, but it's a white that's dude. That's he that's I ain't tripping on yeah, whatever race he is as long as know what he doing. But when I say my nigga, though, you probably picture the nigga. Nah, then this I put, point. Who's that? You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's the real shit I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> really can't even just call it. Hey. hey. Listen, we don't discriminate. At hey. all. Good I energy, mean, that's it. Yeah, what you say? Good energy? Good energy only. Positive vibes. That's it. That nigga went crazy off the intro. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> we already been talking. Let's, we got I'm Scoop. It's Bass. You're G over there. G in the cut today. Now. In the cut. Like Wiz. I make other real. And we got Mego the Realtor. Mego the Realtor. Yeah. Clap, clap, clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. One of the greatest to ever do it. Okay. It's a story. I don't know if I told you this. I did tell you this, but I don't know if you remember. I was about oh, to shit. fade you. <laughs> the first night I met you, I was about to fade you. Oh, Who me? Yeah. This... He was about to get faded. Same he thing. about to get faded. <laughs> Dang. I, I hate was about that to, for you. I was outside. You was trying to. Man, he was so I was trying mad. to spin through the parking lot. Okay. And you was out there trying to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, why she in the way, bro? <laughs> and you, you like, why you in the way? Video? Come through my video. I, oh, I'm finna fade her, G. That was you? That's the first thing I yeah. told this nigga. He, ran, he came over there, he said, man, I'm finna, this girl, I'm man, finna fade her right now. feet tall, too. <laughs> and then fade. it's funny, because after you know, we was in there, you came too. up to us. Yeah, you came up. I'm up with you. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like that's that's I was mad as hell. I was recording the promo video. You interrupted. I didn't know what was going on. I was just trying to. Yeah, you didn't care neither. You see that man with the camera out there. I really just knew what I was doing. I was trying to set you up so I could, look, my nigga got you. <laughs> we got the, you know what I'm saying, movie no, camera for you. all you had to do was walk in and I was on it. Come I on, said, hey, bro. let me see what y'all doing with that. Yeah, yeah, whatever Why you need. Why you put my footage in there from Art Overdose? No, with your footage. How no, you know your footage I, wasn't in there? Because I looked, I watched your video and I was like, he didn't but get But I'm saying, you know, you know what your shot was? You remember yeah, what your shot was? Oh, you recorded? 
Nigga, yeah. you ain't tell nobody that. He let me. He gotta let me practice. That's okay, my, that's my dude. Okay, okay. That, so you <laughs> finna be, you finna get right with the film. I just like that camera. That's a nice camera. Touche. She want to do everything. She want to film, play the guitar. Everything. She said she played. She who? She who? Yeah, mm -hmm. about his life. Ball is life. Ball is life. Niggas don't say that a lot. That's crazy. Basketball, volleyball, track, so you, so tennis. You play in like college, like collegiate? Collegiate volleyball. Okay. You know, you really got to change your Yeah, yeah, okay. Same okay. thing. Okay. Listen, was everybody taller than you? Yeah. I ain't tripping. You was going crazy. You had to be all my life. You had to, to be. Go, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to I was be. setter defensive specialist, so. Going crazy. What, what, it worked for me to be short. What made you choose basketball? I mean, volleyball over basketball. You had some scholies in basketball too. Yeah, I just liked volleyball better. Mm. I liked, and then I ain't gonna lie. I went to a volley. My sister do volleyball. I went to one of their games. It, it is lit. If you act if them. you really know what you're doing, yeah. it's competitive. But it was competitive in a way where I controlled the floor. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Type like because I was a setter, so I made like. All right. So you gonna have sure to break the point guard too. Yeah, I was gonna say I you gonna have to point break the point guard too. But yeah, yeah. And, and back, <laughs> so how I look at it in basketball, you got people who control, can't control it without being a point guard. That's so true. you got some That's power true. forwards that can play both positions that can control it. And so for me, yeah, I'm a playmaker yeah. as a point guard, but I'm a playmaker where it's just like the end in volleyball. Like okay. it's real, like the end. Like oh, I put it up, you put it down, we over with. Type shit. Mm -hmm. And it was real quick. It was just like a quick, like, that's something about me. Like, I'm instant gratification. So, with that, it's not like, oh, four quarters, you got to go. No, we finna whoop y'all ass in. Right now. Get this right shit Right now, get way. it over with. I'm running it up and talk shit the whole time. Yeah, I like that already. So, that's what made me pick it. I already like that. We lit. It ain't no time limit in volleyball? No. Nope. It's just. Score. Twenty. It ain't like 21. 25. 25? Yep. It's like two, two out of three. Yeah, okay, I, okay, I knew yeah, it was something yeah, like that. Yeah, I know. Yep. Yeah. I still didn't would have thought it was a time limit though, just cause. Nah, you nah. just it's a time limit. Like, you done until you get Beat to where you. So we run up twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, quick, <laughs> right, get these That's niggas it. out of here. We'll get them out of here. These niggas out of here. We're gonna be here late, guys. No, nah, nah we, it's over. Game <laughs> on. <laughs> you can't get, get, get to them games uh, late. I don't bro. need them time. I don't need you none of that. You can't get to them games late at all. That's lit. I fuck with that. Dang. But yeah, that's funny. So I had to you, tell that did story. You, did you miss basketball when you went in to, to college and you couldn't play it anymore? A little bit. When I used, like when I see the basketball girls like playing and practicing and stuff, after we you, our season over, I would miss it then. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you just uh, watching the stands be like, oh, she could have did this, she could have did that. You know, coach from the sideline type thing. Type shit. Do women got intramural... Uh, in college, mm -hmm. yeah. They play with the niggas or do they got their own in the mirror? Nah, they got their own in the mirror. Okay, I, I ain't some, never some seen no one in the mirror. Yeah, some, some of them do co -ed. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, I seen the co ed type they shit, but I don't I ain't know if they had their own. Yeah, yeah, I don't really fool with the co ed sport. I, I feel you. Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Oh. Let me, <laughs> let's go there. <laughs> just tell me why. <laughs> let's go there. I just want to know. So, starting in high school, I had a male volleyball coach. And, like, your, your vertical is going to be so much higher than a female's just based on how tall you are already and you jumping on the same net I'm jumping on and I'm trying to block that or I'm trying to, you know, pass that. Like, it's just a disadvantage mm -hmm. altogether. So I'm not going to go out of my way to compete with you, mister. <laughs> 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 and your hormones, science study shows that your har your hormones will allow you to do this much more. This for, that's what I be trying to tell business. niggas. That's the only thing I be saying when niggas yeah, be having a yeah. woman versus man debate. I'm we like, not, man. And I'm I don't be, even want to take that because I don't even know how far we can take it on here. But I don't believe in all that. Listen, if we got to, we'll take it. Yeah, 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 I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah, do that. Talk. Like, oh, I, your gender need to play with your gender. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. You're not going to play. I got a daughter. You, you, Your son going to play against my daughter? No. It ain't that. Rough the fuck out. Bitch, yeah, we, no. we just saying they can hoop. Like, on for, like we ain't saying. Can, and I don't. I don't think I never said that. I think a, a, the coldest. I think the coldest girl, like, can beat a regular nigga. Like, lifetime hooping nigga. Like, Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a home like, girl. We grew up together. I got a home girl. Right to like to this day can out hoop a lot of me. A lot of niggas. It's, it did that. Well, our whole time growing up, she. But that's why she was so cold, 
Cause she played with nothing but boys. Type shit. Thanks. I think some uh was it Brandon Jennings or one of them niggas on one of them podcasts, they said yeah, women could play with men, but they have to start playing when they you boys. Gotta start yeah, 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 <laughs> they, yeah, they, they gotta yeah, start yeah. playing when they little. They can't just play women all their life and nah. then jump in with the men. You gotta start with the boys for, and then that, then that's what sets that's you apart. That's where you find a different. Yeah, you different yeah. then. That's what sets you apart from the actual girls. That's how you on the elite. Right. Because you've been playing with boys all playing, the been, whole time. You've you been rough. You to, yeah, yeah. you've been rough this whole time. Your agility is totally different. That's a fact. Totally different. Yeah, that'd be my whole thing with when when they be having a men versus women or or men and women thing. I'd be like, bro, just realistically, like we are just. I mean, the numbers is gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's still some niggas out here that can get. I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure, home. for sure. I'm not saying that either, but I'm Absolutely. just saying the best of the best niggas is gonna be better than the best of the best women, just because that's just the way God made motherfuckers. That's it. That's all I mean by that. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So I heard you say when I was behind the curtain about this college basketball. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I was going to go to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, let's hop Who was you this. going for? Who was you going for? I ain't going to lie. I didn't watch none of it. But on matter of fact, the, the homie right here, let me get I'm 15 push-ups. Let me get 15 more push-ups out with you real quick. Damn. He still, you. you still on push-up patrol, oh, yeah. nigga? He don't he he push-up. Wait, what happened? He yeah, he, he he I made you remember this <laughs> now. Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> you yeah. ain't there, you my fault. My fault. Be stocking like Rocky. How long you got to do the push-ups? This is like sixty-five more after this. Thirty-five. Sixty-five. Yeah, six that, was that was ten. That was fifteen. Fifteen. I ain't even hear him coming. He, he, from the he, chest he went with Iowa over South Carolina. You know what I'm talking about. Over I had to, South Carolina. Come on, I, I made. I, I told him a lesson. Give him a mic. What was your logic on that? <laughs> he didn't know. Just he off just of know Kaylin Carr. Just <laughs> off of Kaylin. He said she the goat. <laughs> just off of Kaylin. That's South Carolina. You didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know who was coaching South Carolina. <laughs> crazy. Oh it wasn't even about the players. It was about the coach. It was coach. about Don by herself. Yeah, Powerhouse. What? That's scouting. That's elite <laughs> scouting. <laughs> man. No, the first three minutes he was in that yellow oh, light. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we, we up. We up. No. Yeah. <laughs> just sit back and chill. Wait a minute. I said, wait, just be easy. When you bro. see a coach that calm, Come that calm, that like that. She and said, even, she said we'll even let Kayla get 30, nigga. We ain't nobody else going to score. Yeah, we was in here recording. I didn't even watch it. Man. I was, was, let, I was letting his emotions tell me what was going on. <laughs> it got quiet. It got quiet. It got quiet. I swear to God, it got quiet. It was zero, zero, it was zero, one, because they was up one Yeah, that was a one, yeah. <laughs> and I really she really talking like an athlete or what? No, nah, for real. She said halftime it was zero zero, zero. Man, listen, y'all can't try to pull my card. I'm not gonna disrespect you. Yeah, you said too much already listen, to make me know that you do something. I really, mm -hmm. I really, so. I really thought Angel and them would have would have did better in their game if she ain't roll her ankle in that second quarter too. Though. You know, let I me think tell they you about They they were already content. They didn't have a dog in them like they like had last year. The year before. Yeah, they they didn't have a dog and they didn't have a point to prove. When you got a point to prove, you're going to play a whole different game. You're going to walk a whole different way. Your style, your it, your whole demeanor is going to be totally different when you got a point to prove. But you don't feel like you got a point to prove. You got all this money coming in. You know you that girl. Nah, that was the one I was going to say. They, 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 made, they made a lot they of money. They done made a bank. <laughs> a bank, all of them. I'm just here for the... I'm just here so I don't get fine. It's just... Like, I, it's I'm just a, a protocol. Like, that's it. Real that's shit. Just, I'm just here for the protocol. Yeah. Like we we made it cool. Right. So you but, think if they didn't win last year, they'd have been more hungry? Oh, or? absolutely. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Absolutely, especially if she you knows if she knew that she was going into the draft or she wanted to go into the draft. Right. Yeah, if they didn't win last year, she would have got it this year for sure, for sure. But like, yeah, you gotta have that dog in you, and she didn't have that dog in her. Like, you think you think she just didn't have it this season, or she's still trying to develop that? Nah, she got it. In she her. got it. In her. Oh, it's yeah, it's in and out on her all day long. But no, she already she can, accomplished those from the goal. No, I know she be, you know what I'm saying, doing her shit, talking oh, yeah, her shit, hoping and shit. It. I just want to know what it's going to translate. I really want to know what all these niggas going to translate when they go to the WNBA, what it's going to look like. You know, it's a lot of the times, like, the women ain't like the men. Mm -hmm. Like, the women that's good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. They, like, they, 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 they be good. They, they, they translate yeah. just like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Brianna Touché. Stewart and all of them, bro. They translate just like that. So that don't be no flute. Because you got to think about it now. I'm in a whole different league. I'm not. I'm not the upperclassman. I'm the. You know. I'm yeah. the fish. I'm the new. The new. New kid in town. So I got. Now I have another point to prove. 
Now I got all these naysayers who saying I ain't supposed to be in the WNBA. Now I got to come in here and prove it. So hope. you start from scratch. Clean slate. They going to show you what they made of for Ooh, sure. How tall is she? Six. Was it six? Six four. Six, yeah, six four. four yeah. Six, oh, so three, she about one. to be playing. <laughs> she about to be playing. What's that girl from the S-Pade? Like, like the foe. Like, uh, three. I thought about saying she about to be down there three. Oh, yeah. She going to be matching up with. Uh, what's that girl from the Aces from Las Vegas, bro? She everywhere. Oh, uh, uh, dark Asia. Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, about yeah, who she yeah. be matching up with. That's gonna be a good ass. Asia gonna bust her ass though. I thought exactly. Yeah, she gonna she, have to get it busted for. A while. Yeah, I about to say yeah. She gonna have to see what's happening though. Yeah, especially playing at the three. It's gonna be different. Yeah, <laughs> totally different. It's gonna be different. She gonna have to get her handle right. She gonna have to get strong. She gotta get strong. She gotta get stronger. She gotta get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got to develop. That what's that big? What's, I did see that big girl though. Uh, from sense, yeah. <laughs> South Carolina. What? I, I, Bored. I told oh him, yeah. She I was did. telling him. I say, hey, <laughs> I this said, we want to watch for. Bored. Hey, damn. <laughs> Effortless. <laughs> this we want to watch for. Bro. Effortlessly, like Offensive straight. Offensive rebound. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Boom. Boom. Nigga, anything come off this hole, I need that. I, I need that. I got that. <laughs> It's mine. Bucket. It's mine. No need. No need. No, 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 need. The, no I got that. Birds mine. 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 Excuse me. It's mine. Excuse me. Give me that. Mine. Oh, what the? I think it was third quarter. She had like 13 boards. No, it was right been like at the beginning of the third quarter. She had 13 boards. Give me them. Effortlessly. Give me these hoes. They bench had 36 points. Like. Yeah. To nothing. Did that, that's see? what it was. That was they it. bent. They, they, they bent squad to be elite. Beat. Scouting. <laughs> you thought, you thought it's it's like UConn back the in the power of oh, your yeah. team. Just, the we got everybody. We got all put, the when she put any nigga y'all on. think they get they over here. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Give me ten. Hey, five. Give me seven. I got him. Give me anybody. Anybody you put in gonna give me five. But points. that's why they still had legs. Cause you able to get them in, you able to get them out. So you can't put no niggas in that ain't finna produce nothing Man. and leave them in. Shout you out. leave them they niggas freshmen. in for yeah. You leave Shout them niggas in for ten minutes. You stuck lost. The second okay. half though. Huh? After Jesus Caitlin Clark, dropped that was. 17 in the first half. Oh, yeah. She, hey, she was hacking. I ain't gonna hold you. She was following. But uh, who was that? Dark skin. Dark skin. Yeah, dark skin. She was following. Fuck out Caitlin. But. Hey, hey, do what the fuck you gotta do. Oh, my as mama, long do as she didn't have a ball, they wouldn't call me. call me. Yeah, do what the fuck you gotta do. As long as she didn't have a ball, they didn't care. She was, she was, bro, smacking her head. That's fair. Caitlyn ass beat. Yeah, she that's fair. She all the niggas. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> she got to learn. out there. Look all the foul. Nah, you nigga, think it ain't gonna happen when she gets to WNBA. They gonna be. You gotta get back physical with it. WNBA is gonna be worse shit. Cause them niggas fight through that. I can't take nothing away from her though. She a hooper though. I, be, I ain't gonna hold her. She she definitely be hooping. She be in there. So that nigga be shooting. hooping, man. <laughs> she she be uh, shooting in the gym. Put it like that. What, in nah, there. nah, my lad. Because I don't get to talk about this. We don't get to talk about much. Uh, women basketball, you know, brother. But, I don't be hating. I just don't. <laughs> hey, I don't be watching man, it like that. And the the stats say that was the most watched game. Yeah, this fourteen million or something. Yeah. Yeah. Eighteen million. Eighteen million. Listen though, tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. You think it's because it's the women, or you think it's because Kaylin? It's because of the women. Who say? Because you had women who normally ain't watching basketball on a Sunday. They watching who Kaylin Sunday Fun though. Day. Oh, we going to Sunday Dawn. Fun Day to watch. Oh yeah, okay. Well yeah, I, I'm. I'm. We down there. Kaylin's I'm not thinking. Don. Don most five. definitely. There. Yeah, Kaylin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don, we we watching Kaylin. Don is most. But that's when what have I'm y'all saying. ever seen WNBA Final Four even like watched like that? We ain't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, yeah. It's like crazy. they, they not doing. They what? We wasn't watching they, them. They, they got like, more star power too. That's now what I'm saying. Yeah, right now, so the yeah, girls yeah, are stars. Yeah. You got. I told you, the college niggas UConn. be weak as a bitch. Hey, well, they hey, it, like, everybody changed teams all the time now. That portal that shit, transfer they portal. That shit is yeah. crazy. See, Bronny transferring. Yeah. He didn't put his stuff in there. Yeah, Bron. He he finna go to the league. Bron Bron finna get bro drafted. He is, but I don't know if he ready. I said I've been telling these niggas that they think he. Did you say he was? That's great, bro. Great. I think he he did too. Damn, near. I think he could be. I don't think he's gonna be a star. I think he could be a good NBA player. You know, he can be in the Off league for the a bench. minute. That's still going. It stopped when I said yeah. it. Oh, you did that? Yeah, I, I did know. on accident. Yeah, I did that shit on accident. Put this back on the. What is it? Input what? My fault, y'all. One of the HDMI's. In the off the. Uh, he gonna be off the bench. He. I mean. You just want to play with your son. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, most but, definitely. Like a Drew Blesso type. Yeah, yeah. He and gone about your business. He you want to say you get a son in the league? That's cool. Yeah, yeah that's. But what he it don't is. have that talent like that. Brownie bag. And I bad. think I seen uh, what's what's uh, 
What's this nigga name? Damn, I always forget his nigga name. His sister, thick as hell, she used to date Dwight. She used to marry. She was married to Dwight. What's this nigga name? Um, T. Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. yeah. yeah. Uh, so Sharif. What's, Sharif. Yeah, just, bro, no, just went yeah. to China. He colder than Bronny. I know this for he a was fact. Cold, yeah, he, he was yeah. putting buckets up. And that nigga even. is going to China. <laughs> Get Bronny the fuck out of here, bro. I mean, he's but go to I, it ain't the same, bro. That's why I keep telling you this. Going to the league ain't just about how good you is. No. I mean, yeah, Bronny gonna be, be a system ass. Yeah, Bronny gonna be a system player just First because all, that's what he is anyway. It's a business number one. Yeah, number one, number one. It's a business number <laughs> one. one. So and my daddy is the greatest my, basketball ever. And I'm in the Stop doing that. Stop yeah. doing that. I sent y'all the clip. Michael Michael Jordan the greatest ever. Stop doing. That. I'm saying that arguably. It's no, people it's that not even say argument. That my dad is the best. It's not even argument. But yeah, it's niggas that say that. I think niggas is delusional. I and even wa- if he ain't the best ever, he the best he's in the league the right best. now. Okay, all right, well, yeah, touche. He's one of the best. <laughs> he said, I only said this because he said the best ever. I'm never finna say that. I just watched, you seen that uh, clip with Dane? That's it? I saw that already. Man. Come on now. Had all them niggas in there. Listen, that's. And LeBron right in that same building. Never mind. So what, is what, is what is it? What is it? What is it? I get to talk. No, 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 Jordan. I want you to tell, talk your shit. It's only going to make the conversation Look spicy. Look at the 90s and 80s, the old school star power. Like, that star power is just different in Nigga, general, what? like with anything. I was thinking it. It's, this is, this it's is a true. different kind of game. <laughs> this is true, but what that mean about Michael Jordan? Because. Mm, you know, that's different. That's you know hard, I, though, because if you put Mike and, and LeBron on the court, who you think? I'm picking Jordan. I'm not going to lie to you. Ball head. <laughs> I mean, but it's, I, okay, so to that be fair, fun. I think we're evaluating two different things. Okay. Okay, so I evaluate more so of being a playmaker. And then again, you go back to just being that dog. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with the dog. I can't. I mean, Absolutely. Uh, uh, being a playmaker is most and definitely. And then, okay, I'll give you this Jordan did a better job of making sure everybody on the team. Was incorporated, in Jordan? my opinion. You probably the first person I ever said that. I don't feel like Jordan was a ball hog. No, but I, you know, they they criticized Brown for being as passive as he is, especially in like now. Moments. He just ain't got that. He just got that in the lat these latter years. He always been a passive. man. Brown was a Caitlin. He definitely was G boy in Cleveland, but I mean, she had to be. It wasn't nobody over there. But okay, but if you're that person, you can make plays. If I'm 6'8", 260, I'm shooting that bitch every time. <laughs> really? <laughs> every time. <laughs> what? Every single time. And I can it's move like that. And I'm going to shoot that bitch every Man, time. Man, get your people in the game. I I'm not even 6'8". I would have been on the court sometimes, and I, I shoot that bitch every time. Okay, you yeah, a ball hog. Oh, he ain't tell you not one lie. He ain't tell you that bitch to be. His favorite, My player, favorite player is Kobe. So, yeah, get that bitch to be. I'm yeah, shooting that, that bitch. That says all of you. That says all you need to say. Now, you got to be able to incorporate the whole team. Get everybody involved. Touche. Touche. That's why South Carolina won. Sometimes you got to put yourself in the <laughs> right, right, right back to it. That nigga say, hey, matter of fact, give me 10 more. <laughs> <laughs> a whole team against two. I give Kate Martin her, her flowers. She did pretty good. That hey. was a, uh, that's, the, that's the black. Nah, that's the, no, that's uh, the, nah, that's, uh, that's the, the other one. Oh, she was a four point guard. guard. She uh, she about, a power forward. Yeah, the four. You talking about the four? Yeah, oh, I'm talking about yeah, the one that got the little had the little puffs in her. The head. puffs yeah. was stocky, stocky from from Iowa. Yeah, she she they shut her down. Yeah, I felt like yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know you. Did you watch college at all? I'm just asking. That's the only women's game I watched all year. Okay, all right. So you just was going for Kaylin. I was just going for, for whoever was hot. You know what I'm saying? Type shit, type shit. I'm gonna tell That's you, I'm problem, not gonna right lie. There. I was going for the black folk. Of course. <laughs> Of course. Black Listen, black. I had to. I said, okay. It's okay if you want to say you was going for the white folks. It's okay. I just opened the floor for you. It's to okay say for that. you to say that though. If you, she is. No, she is though. She is. She is though. She take more than that though. Yeah, it take more than. Uh, hey, if that's the case, Steph, Steph have she, eight rings right now. She's definitely the the female Steph Curry. Like, I just like to bet on shit, and he he had one, so I took the other. Touche. That's fair. Hey, my nigga Q said he's still waiting on that Madden. Oh, he can get it in time. I'm the Ooh. king of these parts. Oh, I heard that. It's on Cam. Don't play with him. He's not one of them. He said he's the king of Madison. Hey. I've been playing Madison since like 1995, bro. Like, I got you. I'm going to put money on him. When we going to run it? Don't do that to yourself. I'm telling you, don't do it to yourself. Anytime you want. Damn, you just talking Anytime good. You well, you bark real big. I ain't mad. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to yourself. <laughs> you the shit out of me that fast. I ain't even going. I, I heard that. 
Who you playing? Talk that talk. My nigga Q. Dead. I got about five dollars. That's good. Man, Q, Q <laughs> go cook the fuck out. Respectfully, Q go cook the fuck out. Y'all the keep me Listen. posted on how they go. <laughs> nah, for real. We're keep gonna get to posted. the NBA now. Yeah, I think. Uh, you think what? We gonna make it to the playoffs and we gonna play. We gonna go crazy. If Who? we play y'all, the Warriors. I'm a Warriors fan. Oh. I'm a Steph Curry fan. Oh. You thought I was a Dallas fan? Yeah. No, nah, I'm just living in Dallas. <laughs> you, you a Dallas fan? Yeah. Uh, what you think y'all gonna do there? Nothing. You ain't you ain't confident? Absolutely not. Damn. Why? Y'all didn't got hot a little yeah, bit. Y'all got, yeah, y'all got it's inconsistent. I go on consistency. It's inconsistent. What what was their record? Y'all that was the fifth. They fifth. Yeah. You got yeah, a fifth. dirt a semi. You you don't even have a Dirk and Steve Nash situation right now. That you can't even do Luca and Kyrie like that. That's not even. Not even anywhere close to dirt like in Steve Nash. So I don't know what they're gonna do. It just depends on the day. I think we got a nice little run going right now. Yeah. I was gonna say I think it depends on your uh, role players too. Cause That's I think Kyrie and Kyrie and Luca are gonna do what they do. But, but in so. the playoffs it's going it's going I think Kyrie and Luca can who they play who would they be playing? Uh Clippers. Clippers? Well, against the Clippers now. The Clippers ain't been on shit, so y'all might. No yeah, the we, Clippers we be hurt be against right. size, though. Yeah, y'all might be. Y'all might be good with the Clippers. We should be okay. Yeah, but okay. that's when we, you know, don't show up. When that when y'all when should we be. So, that's what and that's what bothers me. It's a lot of experience on that Clipper side. Uh, it is, but not really. Not if you really, think about but, it, you know what I'm saying. Like, like, it's some niggas that been in the league. In the league, that's what I'm talking about. Not like been in the playoffs. Playoff you know what I'm saying. Westbrook, well, he went to the finals. What? They ain't never been to the finals. Yes, they did. Kawhi, they played. They played yeah. Brown. Them. They played. Oh yeah, yeah. With, that's the okay, only time see. he went to the finals. Yeah, that's the only time. Damn. Well, he went to the Western <laughs> Conference Finals. So I ain't. Him, him yeah. Kawhi. Kawhi made it. Got a championship. Yeah. PG. What PG? PG made it to second East round conference East finals. Conference they played uh, LeBron. Oh yeah. So I mean, it, uh, hey, it's like neck and neck. But them niggas ain't. None of them niggas done that. Right. That was a long time ago. That it's, been a while. it's been a while. <laughs> they did all that. Harden made it to the Western. What you mean? Harden. That was a while ago too. I'm yeah, talking shit. He fat right. now. Yeah, I, I mean they got on paper it looked good for Clippers just because of who they got. I ain't been watching the Clippers to look at their rotations though. Honestly, when they be winning, I fuck around look at the highlights. But Dallas big. I think Dallas gonna win. Yeah, yeah. That one nigga. Uh, what's y'all center? Was he number eighteen? Let me go. You wear the headband. The nigga, it's my lively. No, that ain't what I'm when he when when this happened. I know they got lively. He out here a couple. No, I'm talking about the nigga who was just he just they played got, last game. PJ, they got PJ Washington from Kentucky. Um, it's a, it's a big they got. He just played last. Game. The nigga was on the run. He was on the run for a minute, with not missing no shots. So he think he made like yeah. dog. Yeah, dog. Yeah. He's got the shooting percentage the <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. They got bro, bro, bro is low key doing what he's supposed to do. He role playing the fuck out that role. He's gonna stay tuned. He's, <laughs> he's being a star in his role. Will it? What'd he say? So, so, you, so. Luca don't play enough defense for me. There you go. There you go, right there. Thank you. And that bothers that me. Nigga, the team don't play defense. The team, exactly. the team <laughs> don't play <laughs> <don't laughs> <laughs> Kyrie and Luca at the. <laughs> Kyrie that's don't that, play no defense neither. Yeah, that's, what nah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Them two team. niggas but on the court the same time. Like and Tim Hardaway Jr. <laughs> it ain't no defense out there. No, you know, you, know, you, know you boasting a player up, and I'm. I don't know. It's just for me. You gotta play defense. You gotta, you gotta make play on, both sides of the ball. on both sides of the ball. You can't just have these these other people out working it like they working too hard, and then you oh give you the ball. No, come on, <laughs> nigga. Help me do no. something, nigga. <laughs> We're gonna be mad in the locker room. You gonna play some defense? Help look. me do something. Nigga. Help for real. I don't think I don't think Luca will ever play defense unless he no. unless he shape his body a little bit different. He got to. You got to get in better shape. That's the only way he going to play defense. He going he gonna to be Charles Barkley, and body. As long as his usage rate going to be what it is, he going to play like That's where it's at. That nigga going to play like yeah, I yeah, too, too much on the offensive end to do too much on the defensive end. I shouldn't have to do it. <laughs> That's going to be his mindset. And Cuban and them going to be like, I'm, right. yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. responsible for well, 60, they 70 to, uh, percent of our points. Yeah. Like, come on, man. They going to have to uh, get Make them other niggas play. Y'all got to get some defensive niggas on y'all team then. They got it. Yeah, they need they need a good balance. Y'all need y'all need one of them niggas from uh from Cleveland. What's that nigga name? Uh number four. 
A skinny ass, light skinned nigga. Or yeah, like. him or the, no no the, the 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 power four him or somebody like bro from New Orleans with the little with the little fro who be shooting. I can't think of neither one of them niggas. We last. had a good defensive player. Um, yeah, y'all let him go. All my life, y'all let him go. Swear yep. to God. Smith, yep. Him and that nigga with the dumbass uh, thing, too. What's the other nigga name? Yeah. Wow. With them, yeah, them niggas, was, was, them but, niggas was playing defense. And they played crazy. Like It was just like not controlled, but yeah, it, was, yeah, it yeah. was doing what it needed to do. You know, like If they would have been able to polish their offense up for like they one more year. They didn't win more this year than they, well, I ain't gonna say they won more, but they got a higher saying, seed this no, year, yeah, right? Than the they West did ass, year. They're West better, ass. they're in a better space, but that don't mean nothing, because guess what? It's back to the drawing boards when you get to the playoffs. You're one and done. One bad game, is over with. Damn near. We see that with the Cowboys every year. Yeah, I, I don't know so why you niggas are, be so Cowboys fans. Dallas native, Dallas fan, everything. like Pretty much. Pretty much, okay. But I can under I can see that you're not like a delusional Cowboys fan. Absolutely though. not. So we're not like, going to can, the championship. I can, I can appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not betting any money. <laughs> Hell no. That's the reality. That's the, don't sit and have this big party at your house and think that they about to win after we won the whatever division it was. No. Cow, we're gonna let you down. Gonna let you down. They're gonna let have your backup team that you wanna root for. <laughs> So, backup your backup so you can watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> Who's your backup team? So, it's, it, I do like a little bit of Baltimore. I like Baltimore just for Lamar. And then the Chiefs, because my my best friend, she's from Kansas City, and it's like hmm. you got people who I feel like have the heart for the sport, hmm. like Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Then you got Travis. Like, hmm. You got them people that want it. Want you see that win. that in their eyes when they look up and make a, you know, you like he made a bad play. I think it w- wasn't in the playoffs. Um, Kelsey dropped. What did he fumble about? When, when he got mad. Oh, you talking about when he got mad? Yeah. yeah, yeah but did yeah, you yeah, like yeah. the? You the, could the, tell though. You could yeah, tell yeah, he yeah, got yeah. mad and they put that dog. But then you think like how many rings he got? He could have really been like fuck it. Type shit. No, dead ass. I already made my that's money. How you saying I that, made my money because I'm playing. Yeah. I ain't got this far. He got mad and they made him go harder. Yeah. We don't have players like that. Them the niggas that you need. Which them the ones you need. So I like them for that reason. I like Lamar because he black and he just got that he in doing him. This shit, yeah, yeah. he's doing his thing. Shout out to Lamar. That's a fact. Uh, yeah, I, I really didn't have too much. Uh, I know Ugly Bro probably has something to say. I was just going to say though. Basketball? Yeah, I was going to say. We sick. I'm yeah. sick, nigga, where we lost. We lost. We won nine out of the last ten. Then we lost after we got the fucking seed. And that's what I'm telling you. I'm like, man. When you get to the playoffs, it's back to nothing. Yeah. You could have been the best team, best for It's nothing, nothing once all. you get in them playoffs. Yeah, I think whoever play. The Nuggets, they gonna have some on their hands. Whoever, however many niggas, whoever play the Nuggets, gonna have some on their hands. I be watching these niggas play now. It's it's a lot of it's a lot over there, bro. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, nobody unbeatable. You just gotta know who you, how to how to manage your personnel, bro. You gotta know who to keep out there. Or take advantage of when a nigga get hot. Like, if nigga get hot, hey, I don't Keep give a fuck in. what the rotation look like. Keep them in. Why are you taking them out yeah, of the game? fuck the rotation, nigga. Let's, let's take advantage of this right now. Because if he lose it tomorrow, he ain't even in regular rotation anyway. Nah, for real. I should have <laughs> been a coach. I should have been a basketball coach. I, ain't gonna I coached you sound volleyball like for a little while, but I should have been a basketball coach. When you coached it, how, uh, what, what uh, grade or? Middle school. Middle school. Early high school. How was it? Club AAU. So it's AAU, oh, okay, but volleyball. Okay, 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 okay. So you play Wait, y'all play ball. here? Uh-huh. You play at that, at that big-ass thing? All of them. Yeah. All weekend long. Yeah, that's where I was at with, uh, with Lil' Sis shit. I like that, though. It was lit, though. It was lit in that bitch. Oh, damn. It's, this it look like AAU money. basketball. Yeah. Good, that, that club volleyball? Them niggas would sleep on some little... Cot. Single, cot. It wasn't even a cot. It was a single blow-up air mattress. Oh yeah, it's like a little Travel tub city. though. Yeah, it's like a little tub. Oh, yeah, you see those at the track meets too. I'm mm-hmm. like, damn. I can't do the track meet. The track meet all day in the heat. Yeah, oh no. Hey bro, my hey, man. And my, my daughter gonna man, run track yeah. too. I see it. It's over for me. Yeah. Really? What? 
my goddaughter oh, ran yeah, track yeah. for the first year. Uh, what was it? Maybe two years ago. And I was like, oh, no. Nah. Yeah, it's all, that shit going to piss I me off. Yeah, no. Nah, all day in the heat. All day. And you talking about, I'd be, be out there from like 8 in the morning to like three. Earlier than that, they had them kids out there. Because you got to drop your kid off early. You gotta That's the craziest nah, shit. They be, be out there like 8 in the morning. Yeah. And then, and then you got to go set he up. He don't even run until like three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> to like eleven, because he he do the he do the four hundred the eight hundred. I mean four hundred, yeah, the four hundred the eight hundred, and then he do the uh, four by four relay. Yeah, you know that's the last. That's the last one because that's what everybody want to see. That's the, I'm talking about the absolute last, <laughs> the dead last anything, one. Bro. I used bro, to run. I'm, about, I'm out here. It's yeah. ninety nine and sixteen hundred in high school. I just degrees. did that to condition up for volleyball and basketball. Two touch. We got the damn tents out there, bro. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I was yeah. They did that was when I all day long. Game. The tents ain't even really blocking the, nothing. Them tents, yeah, because at that point the sun beaming it's, right down on on where you see. Hey, what my nigga school say that just because you got a because you covering up don't mean the sun can't get <laughs> can't you get to me? your ass. It's yeah. hot. <laughs> it's still it's still still hot, hot, it's hot. They got coolers, all the we done ate all the chicken salad, Man, all the sandwiches, all, all the snacks boy, in the world. What? I'm ready to go. Nigga start eating on the ice. Okay. Oh what though? Nigga just doing some shit. You start, you know, I'm ready to go. I don't got time for it. Uh-uh. I said, oh, no, shit. baby girl, you got to find you something else to play. So then she started playing volleyball. We good now. He, he, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah, crazy because he went J.O.'s, but he made a crazy decision this year. Like, he went, he got all the success in, like, football and, and track, and he just went cold turkey. On oh, what? On track and football. He just wanted to do He don't want to play football no more at all? Yeah, he just wanted to straight do How is I ain't mad at said, on what? I thought she was saying it. Um, oh, like how we said. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I damn near just thought it was. <laughs> oh, what though? Oh, what though? I didn't know. I had to put it together with y'all. I was talking about. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? <laughs> Tell me the code. It, 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 it don't mean nothing, yeah. but it mean everything. It mean everything. Like, like the way you just said it. Like for real. Like the way you would have said it. We we like like you would say for real. That's how we would have said it in that situation. Yeah. Like for okay. Yeah. I got. But that you can use it in other stuff too. That's where y'all from. Yeah. All right. I got some new look. Okay. On what? On what though? On what though? Sometimes. Yeah, you say yeah, okay. The, 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 the on what is it? On what, on what is crazy? Bro. How, you see how fast yeah. niggas pick it up? It's crazy. I was like, <laughs> listen, you know what's really crazy? Niggas don't pick it up that fast. Nah, that fast. They find it hard. Niggas be, bro, what you mean? I'm like, bro, just listen to the context of what we said. You pretty much can pick it up. I got you. Yeah, I got that shit like the first day. Yeah, <laughs> that shit blew. I thought I, I thought showed thought, thought and I had to think about what you just said. I was said like, oh, okay. when you said it, I was like, oh, what though? She, it fit. You guys just kept talking like it was normal. Yeah, you did. I thought, I thought it was. I thought she was just saying. <laughs> I was like, damn, she. Oh, fuck it. That's so, nah. hilarious. So you from Milwaukee too? No. Oh. <laughs> you gotta get Straight there. Dallas. Okay. <laughs> from Dallas, from the D. Like That's no crazy. other. Crazy. That is crazy. Though. Like no other. That's all you had to say about uh sports. We talked about the seed. I hope the oh, Kings lose. About NBA, WNBA. If the Kings lose, we gravy. Y'all gonna play them either way. We cause we won. Y'all did? Mm-hmm. Who you rooting for? Lakers. We guys Lakers. Mm. I'm a Kobe fan. Yeah, Kobe fan. Man. I mean, yeah. a Kobe fan don't equate I'm, to a I'm Lakers like a fan, fan, but you are all through and through. Look, Kobe look right fan next then. to you. Look right next to you. He got that's him right there. I saw that. I I already know what we. That's he, him. He said he been a Lakers fan before Kobe though. Oh yeah, no, I, was oh, yeah. Laker, I was a Lakers fan since Kobe. That's where it started. Kobe was drafted in '96. I was four, a five. I need that. I've been there. That's it. <laughs> I ain't think you. How old she like she is? About thirty two. I wouldn't it. Hell for real? I probably would have nah, got rid of thirty. Oh. I'm about to say thirty two. I would have got rid of thirty. No one that shit would have been crazy. Thirty four yeah. though. Thirty four, eighties baby. Eighties baby. Yep. Damn. We your birthday? Oh, yeah. Huh? We your birthday? July twenty seventh. Thirty three. Okay. You look younger than that. Shout out to my mama. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my mama. Shout out to my mama. Yeah, what's I, next? What's our next topic? What we talking uh, about? You going into the to the you know what I mean? We talking about this Drake shit. Y'all been watching this Drake shit? Nah, what happened with Drake? Uh, he been dissing niggas and getting dissed by niggas. 
this whole little rap things going on with the whole industry. Him and Rick Ross and him and him and him Future. And future, and him and Metro. Him okay, and I heard something about Future, but I ain't really kinda been yeah, on it. He dish he dish uh Kendrick, Future, Metro. Damn, why? Because of the song, the album? Oh it's a lot of shit, I guess. I I don't future even know. Future and Metro album, snap. That's what I'll be trying to tell niggas. Niggas said it was you trash. At me, bro. Who? I said it's mid, bro. Same, both of these niggas said it was trash. I mid. said it's mid. It was trash. It's crazy, ain't it? You said it was trash. The second one is better to me. The, the second, second one is better, but that, that don't mean that the first one was the trash. The second one's better to me, but it made me appreciate the single more. Yeah. He don't like that. Oh, it's better now. After what Cole did. After what Cole did. And after this shit, shit. It's, 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 it's better. It's, it's, it's <laughs> what you got? Like that? It's the other song with Rick Ross. He was on saying, there. like that, wasn't he? That shit go crazy. Yeah. But yeah, it's it. I like both of them. You on some hustle, get money type? I like, bo I like both of them. I like both of them. Listen, I'm glad y'all, I'm glad we said that right quick. Because I'm talking to my nigga, right? I'm talking to my nigga. Recency bias is crazy on my life. I'm talking to my nigga. I'm like, bro. Uh, I sent him the, the drink and dance. I sent him the song. Mm -hmm. He like, man, that shit trash. I'm, I, I, this is a nigga that I know for a fact. If he listen to the song, he gonna like the song. I'm right. like, I know this nigga. He like, that shit trash. I'm like, okay. Why you said that? Well, my nigga said it was trash. I ain't listened to it yet. I'm, um, so you listen to another nigga tell you it's trash. I'm, bro, you like Future. Nigga, I've been knowing you since 2000. And I don't even know. I know for a fact you know more future songs than a little bit. Once a future fan, always a future fan. You feel what I'm saying? Fan. And I'm like, Man. let's take it here. Did any of y'all go to the concerts this past summer? I ain't going to be doing the concerts. I went to okay. one, one, but I ain't go to no future or no shit like that. Drake concert versus future concert? Future was lit. I know it was. I'm going rocked to future concert. It. I'm going to future next year. Rock, when I tell y'all, fuck it. Rock, future rocked it. I know he did. Shout and out to Drake my nigga was Future, so man. Boring because this is the thing. Hate bass niggas. Yeah, you don't like Future. He be hating. I don't know why he keep. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell, tell you why. I ain't said not a single you word. Ain't said nothing, but that's saying a <laughs> lot. You ain't saying hey, you ain't No, I'm trying to let him talk. I ain't she, she talking. Then I'm, listening. I'm gonna get a chance to talk. All right, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm gonna let him go. This cleared up right now. Yeah, pick a side. Hey, O called me last night. Told me to pick a side. You know what I said. Okay. Big bump. Do you like Future? I like both of them, yeah. Okay, cool. If you like both of them, that's fine. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We like, like both, both of them. them. Yeah, we like both of them, yeah. But you just can't I'm pick still one picking a side, other. though. I can't pick a side. I'm not I'm picking, picking a side. side. Nigga, I'm picking a side. It depends on what you own. Because I want, I, want I, want I want them to make music I'm on the side. together, bro. Like, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm on the wow, side of music. Y'all like, niggas like, like, they make bangers, bro. If y'all niggas are gonna fight for real, come on, come they're on, not they're future and Drake. This they is probably a publicity stunt, right? They probably so let's get back to the let's make some music. music exactly. let's get some <laughs> I don't even know kid. what they beefing over. Like I don't even know what's going on. But like yeah. they, I, they like. Oh, somebody knocked it out. Yeah, they. Uh, they, I think. I think. W what is it over? It's what? a lot of it's a lot of One. speculation. Who women? Which, women? which woman? Metro Shorty or something like that. Who fooling with uh, Drake? Yeah, yeah. That's what they say. Metro mad about it or is Drake? Yes, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly. Future how mad happened. about it too. Future says somebody too. Though. Young Metro don't trust you. I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah, we gonna shoot you. That is his boy. <laughs> he been saying that. And he say we don't trust you, and we still don't trust you. <laughs> you feel what I'm First saying? First of all, Drake's we not. Still right. don't trust you. But everybody Drake's knows not Drake like not that. like. That. Listen. Nigga, Dang. call. He's listen, not right, so, like that. so we can get into the dish real quick, then. Okay. I feel like the dish was cool. Like you know what I mean. I feel like he made it into a song, which he always be doing, which I don't be trying to hear. And then he did one of the young nigga shits where he be, ah, hey, ah, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, drop it, give me fifty, yeah. When he do that shit, I don't NBA like when Drake. Boy stuff. Yeah, I don't like when Drake do that. I hate when Drake do that. Honestly, I hate that shit. But it was better than J. Cole this. But he dissed Kendrick Lamar too? Yeah. He dissed everybody. He, he pretty much. Was the he basis, guilty by association Kendrick Lamar because he was on the album? No, nah, the basis. He, him and Kendrick been not fucking with each other. Uh. The basis of the diss was around Kendrick. Everybody else got shots inside of the. Okay. Inside of the diss. Yeah. Now, Kendrick Lamar goes to this straight. It's over for bro. It is over. I don't want to see that. D O A, because you finna dig so deep, you're you going say? under not just the concrete, that. you're going under the rebar. It's like over. that man's going to take it way too if too far was a person, that's Kendrick Lamar. That's y'all see what Joe Budden say. 
He said, y'all niggas talking about J. Cole, he from Fayetteville. <laughs> he said some foul shit too. Mm-hmm. He foul took shit. it out. But listen, he went crazy. My, before, before it was a big like Wayne, and before it was a big Drake, it was a Jay Z for me. And when Nas made Ether, I was like, damn, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Nigga, I wrote a bar about it's that shit. Over. That's how. That's it's how deep that over. shit is. Listen, I, I, I still to this day probably don't know <laughs> a song better than I know Ether, bro. Because <laughs> it was that cold. I was like, bro, how, <laughs> oh. how you write that, bro? Yeah. It's over. I'm like, how you write that, bro? Like, they, how you they, think of the, how, how you think of all these things to go with the thing? Cause it ain't no, it ain't no, <laughs> it ain't no just making up shit. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro, it ain't like that's the difference, though. You got a rapper and then you have a lyricist. Like that's different. That's right. two different things. Drake on there talking about pip squeak. Yeah, seven, no, seven this foot man shoe. is about to take your like, head nah, off. Nah, bro, you tripping, nigga? That ain't. I mean, it's funny. Ha ha. Danger. Yes, it's funny. Ha ha. He no. say he's short. Yeah, he's gonna fuck you he, up with his yes, head. Yes, because though. Kendrick Lamar is gonna be jaw dropping. I'm fuck not him lying up. to you. If he take it there with that man, he ain't have. I don't think Drake had one real bar in the not entire in, disc. Not in that one. It was. It was like. It he, was like. It was, like it was funny bars. Shit, yeah, but it was just like. Nah. Like yeah, like. And if they just better hope he ain't on it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Rick Ross responded. Even Rick Ross shit was harder than Drake shit. Yeah, he was, I, Ross got a talking. ghostwriter. Yeah, he was shit. Well, I seen Wayne say Ross got one of the best pins ever. Ghostwriter back yeah. in uh, Rich Forever days. He uh, he was going nuts on that he shit. Was going I nuts he was going nuts. Yeah, on that he ain't been on it lately. His his this was decent though. It was it wasn't too. It wasn't. I thought it was gonna be something else, but it was decent. Honestly. I want to see what's gonna happen, though. I really, I'm, I'm, I, I will say, I'm happy that this nigga Drake I'm gonna responded. What's gonna happen? I am happy. It's all about some money. It's all about some paperwork at the end of the day. For sure, for sure. So they gonna act like they beefing for a couple months, probably rest of the year. They gonna act like they beefing. Then probably spring next year, they gonna make amends. That's what they. That's get what somebody with Rock yeah. Nation to get make amends, play peacemaker, <laughs> and then they are gonna have a big ass tour together, and we yeah. all gonna be the I, I, hope, I, hope do that. I hope Kendrick don't be on that. I hope he Kendrick not, say, he fuck not because that he's not in the same type of. It's not Kendrick, the same genre. Fuck that nigga, man. Kendrick a little too hard. He he's harder. So that nigga say I'm an old school Gemini. He said I ain't with none of that shit. That mean a lot. Real That mean a lot. That nigga said he ain't with none of that shit. Understood. That means a lot. Understood. <laughs> well, I ain't hear that. If he said yeah, that, that's all I'm trying to tell you. He been saying that shit. He told Kanye. Hey, man. He said Kanye Fuck changed that. his life. Shit, nigga. I'm uh, staying I'm, the same. I'm nigga. Standing that's a. Oh, that says a lot. I'm old school Gemini. I'm about to. I'm about to put that in my bio. Oh, what we're coming down with oh no that's real it's shit oh, you crossed yeah. that line it's over with so yeah that's Kendrick won't be on the tour but it'll be Drake Metro yeah, yeah, I can see them and niggas. Future on the tour and, and Cole. Ross, Ross Cole. somewhere in the background <laughs> Cole gonna open up I can see that that nigga apologize bro no apologize shout out, shout out J. Cole no shut Look up that shout nigga apologize bro I shout out J. Cole is nuts Dog. shout out J. Cole though but shout, shout out J. Cole man. because Yo, of that apology crazy, but nuts. that apology doing the beef was crazy bro He's nah. a peacemaker. I he's say though, I say, well, he I'm about to say, yeah, that's why he, he let didn't, the internet trick him. Yeah, he didn't child. think he didn't think, he them didn't think them niggas want to be involved. Yeah, he keep saying it, bro. He let the internet trick him. He didn't think them niggas was gonna be for real, bro. He don't want to be a part of it. J Cole really on there trying to be. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'll rap this nigga. Kendrick, like that's what he should have just did though. He should have just rapped. He ain't even have to diss. He ain't have to make no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have just go out there and show these niggas you can rap. He not even. Really. That's what you've been doing. That's, so that's just keep you rapping. can rap. You yeah. actually can rap. Oh my life, you definitely can rap. Just keep it that. Just stay. You on this stay side. where you at. You know that always three though. He Let's damn near lost that spot. Damn. I love J Cole, but he damn near, you. You can't do that. You can't be saying you big three and then be like, oh, my bad. Yo, pin. Okay, well, his he big three. It's even more pin. than that. You can't say the Spider Man meme is me. Looking yeah, yeah, at Drake. yeah, 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 yeah. Drake yeah. not about to go out here and apologize. He yeah. gonna shoot back at yeah, this nigga. Yeah, yeah. he it's said fuck what Cole said. That K dot yeah. shit was weak. <laughs> yeah, I can digress his ass all day, but Drake is not apologizing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gonna do that. He be doing them internet games though. I don't like that. You see, uh, he, he sent his mama that little phone. text here too. Yeah, facts, facts. 
He said his mama. He said his mama a text. Rick, he he said his mama sent him a text. He said, "I heard you beefing with Rick Ross, basically." And then he said, Drake said, "Oh, it's not real. Some some he racist for calling me a white boy." Blah blah blah. Like like playing the internet game. Like that's corny. That's why I be saying though. You be saying you be trying to. That's corny, bro. That invoice shit was corny, and that shit he just did with his mom was corny. He, he light skin, bro. That he shit corny, white, bro. bro. But I told you, it's, listen, that it's is a just pop what artist. she just said. It's internet games, I know. That's a pop artist. She just said the same thing I and said. And he has a phenomenal publicist. Pop artist. But she just said the same thing I did. She said these niggas is doing it's a publicity. Stuff. I mean, yeah, I, said <laughs> I said that. I said that too. I said gimmick. I said gimmick. I said gimmick. I said gimmick. So you're gonna get all that internet games. Is the you're gonna get an album in the winter. Yeah, yeah. Somebody about to drop. Drake. Somebody about to drop. Yeah, Drake's gonna give you an album, and you're gonna you're gonna think it's gonna be talking about all this shit that just happened, and it's gonna be straight pop, and you're gonna turn it off. <laughs> You gotta realize Drake alternates he the albums that he, he gives gonna us. He's gonna get all y'all niggas right. to listen to yeah, it. And, and then once it's pop, all, right. them pop people ain't gonna get off of it. They're gonna be like, oh, this. Right. Yeah, this is a Because fact. you have to realize with Drake, that's, that's not his target audience. The hood ain't his target audience. Yeah. His people are the pop. They they on pop. Or they on the fake. He beat. said it. You keep pointing at me. Drake said it. This is what I'm saying. This is what I was just telling y'all <laughs> last week. He said, I, be, what he dance, said I do billboard hits. I rap on the side. He that's, said that word for word. Simple. <laughs> it's dance. very simple. One Dance, his top song. <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> Bless you, mama. I ain't doing that. Bless you, baby girl. When you run through all them songs and you don't even touch, like, but that's that you have to realize who your target audience is. I'm bored at a concert. I'm like, okay. Like, okay, we can leave. That's because, like you said, the target that's audience is not going to play all, all the pop the songs. Yeah, yeah I'm who not going to a Drake show. It, who I'm all not going paying their cash to be in the front? To be I got to see these songs because they really the people the that sing. They really the ones who sing. If I go to the slums, if I go to the slums, I know what I got to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he ain't even there no more. You feel me? Oh, no, because he was in Houston. Oh, he did different shit than you know what I'm saying? He ain't doing it in Houston. Oh, he tweaking. What it look like? What the crowd look like? Okay. That's crazy. He ain't go up in Houston. That's nuts. Man, he had a whole yeah. Drake had a whole segment in his concert where he went to the DJ and was like, "All right, we finna turn this up." I'm like, "Yeah, okay, we finna rap." What, it was what, straight what? techno pop, where he had like did like a techno off, the, the cut off of his yeah, oh, but he yeah. just did a straight mix of techno. It was like take. I'm finna take out to the club. Is what he said. That's the club. He took us right to the club. That's the type of club. Got streamer <laughs> lights going. It's it's like what he said. What just what's gonna say? Bop bop bop. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's exactly what happened. It was bop 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 bop. Oh hell no! I'm definitely not going to that nigga show. No. Nah, don't pay. I, nah. I won't go. I'm I probably won't go. I probably wouldn't have never went to a Drake show anyway. I think knowing what he's done with Future. So you got too sexy. You got all them kind of songs. You thinking you're gonna get like a good show? Some good and for shit. some people who is in his audience, uh, his audience, like they got a good show. But for me, I'm. You know how you, you have know, your yeah, set list in your hear. head yeah, on. I know what they Yeah. Like Jeezy disappoint me every time. That's a that's an artist that disappoint me every time because I'm like Jeezy. Who said these were your hits? He did that tiny dance. That shit was pissed me off. Jeezy did a tiny dance. Yes, you ain't. That's yeah, how you know Jeezy did a tiny dance. You didn't even hear shit about he it. He did one song that I like. What, song? what songs did he do? Way yeah, too way too long. long. That's it. <laughs> what else did he do? <laughs> That's <Way> sad. <laughs> <too long. laughs> Watch that. Yeah, I'm telling you because we all That's on the That's the only one he did. Right. And that's not even a hit. It's so when he did that, that, I'm like, what the fuck? Who are you, I'm like, who are you catering to? You just, you're like the next black rapper after Scarface. Why would you come up here with this set list? Who did you have create this set list? And Scarface did. Scarface went crazy. All his. Scarface went crazy. Come on, you did Mary Jane. You did everything. You didn't let them steer you in no direction. Scarface went crazy. And that says a lot. You like you can't do that because then you lose out on fan base. Juvenile went crazy. He not that no more. Juvie shut it, man. Say Juvenile had me lit. On it, that nigga went viral for a couple weeks. He He did did. way too gone. That was it. Yeah, I would. I listen. I prefer Gucci anyway, but 
I'm, I I'm definitely know some Jeezy songs. So if that would have came on, I wouldn't have heard nothing that I would have been like, expecting. Do I love it. He ain't do. There's plenty of songs he could have did. I'm, I'm, I'm already most of the songs that I like, <laughs> not like, even on the radio though. You know what I'm saying. That nigga say it's three in the morning. Take your old ass to sleep. Come Third on, time now. she didn't call the police He's this the, week. Come on now. <laughs> Look at that. Be, you know man, man, it's about, it's about that, that time. time. Feel me? On, <laughs> he on, didn't man. do none of that. That's nuts. That's nuts, bro. Empty. You walked <laughs> away from it empty. He did that uh, interview with Shorty. He had changed his life. Oh, that's what I said. I like nigga, he ain't Jeezy interview. no more. He Jeezy J Jenkins. That's I, what he, he said. said. Oh my God. <laughs> he did not say <laughs> Jay Jenkins. I, I, I appreciate he that. He said interview. that though. I'm not saying that. He said that. I did appreciate that interview. The interview I was appreciated cool. the vulnerability of the interview. Okay. But I still yeah, feel like he held that. Jay Jenkins. There wasn't no vulnerability in that shit. It was fake. I love it. It was fake. It was fake. I believe all that shit. I feel like she was more. Yeah, she was. She was more vulnerable than him, but it was still a different side that he had never exposed. Just type. When shit. has Jeezy done a sit down with anybody? Yeah, Jeezy just gonna pop out with a tour. What was it for? Was it a book or some shit? Nah, it was for um, he had that doc. Was it a was it a documentary? No, it was for his album. Okay, okay. And the album flopped. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, listen, I I've been stopped listening to Jeezy. The album, album flop. It's just yeah. Yeah. I stopped listening to Gucci albums too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Gucci fell off. After sure. uh, Trap uh, Trap House Three, I really haven't. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Trap House Three was the last album I done, I could say I listened to. Yeah, I really haven't. Everything guess was just if I hear it, I hear it. Right. Yeah. But he really ain't done nothing. Yeah. He not a rapper no more. Jeezy, Gucci, none of these niggas. None of them are. They, you know, record like everybody now, you know is everybody is, is brains. Y'all know who still is a rapper in the brains? Who? A lot of people are gonna hate me for this. Gotti. I know he's gonna say that. That's this nigga listen to Gotti too. Gotti. I fuck with Gotti a little bit, man. Cause I'm he, just saying because he still actually raps. You have all of these artists who are doing great, phenomenal artists, and you could take the back seat. It's actually time for you to take the back seat and let them have it. And he's still right. But rapping. you still putting out nice stuff. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I did yeah. steal that. What's that song that you be that you put me on? You put me on some song. I forgot the name of it. I damn near got that. It was last year, I think. Is somebody I singing on it? Mm -mm, we gonna be rich forever. Forever mm -hmm. balling. They'll call you my bitch. Oh. You be my bitch forever. That yeah. shit go crazy. That's my shit. <laughs> was it a Calabasas? No. I, don't know, I don't know the title, but I know that shit go crazy. Though. I was listening to that. Whatever album that was, I was listening to. That was that was um the last album he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, that was a good album, though. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, and listen, I listened to the whole thing, too. Like, okay, uh, yeah, you can, Yeah, you can rock with it. It is a decent album. But Gotti gonna be solid regardless. Got, yeah. Gotti has been the same. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what, yeah. No, that's the name of the song. That's the name of the song. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. it worked, though. <laughs> it, it worked, though, because no matter no what, though, Gotti right. gonna be the same. A lot of people don't fool with him because, you know, Dolph or whatever, but... No, I mean... I stay out of that part of it because yeah, I don't really know the back story. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I listen to more goop, so. more uh uh uh. I forgot the nigga name. Ain't fast. That fast. Just not. What's the name we just said? Gotti. Gotti. Yeah, I listen to more Gotti than Dolph. For sure. It just depends on I listen, the time you. Yeah, on. Dolph got bigger songs on 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 what type of time yeah. you on. Though. It yeah. depends on what type of time <laughs> you on. I feel like Gotti ain't got no hits though. Like that. No, no. Not like that. But uh, huh. Gotti got old niggas. Who mixed got like the street? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm rocking with yeah. Yeah. Gotti yeah. got all that. Yeah. Yeah. All, all day long. Yeah. He can go neck, actually street, neck and neck with uh, Yeah. Yes, for sure. Kind of with well, who? Hate Gucci. Oh, yeah, I ain't tripping. That, could, that ain't that. Go. Yeah, Gucci and Gotti was like this for a minute, though. Depending on who you ask, they gonna, yeah, they, 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 they was like this for a minute, though. So I'm not even, I wouldn't even argue that because they most definitely, Gotti was going crazy. I mean, he got he he was able to go all the way up to cocaine music was seven. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah, he had. And I'm talking about yeah, he, like they was trash. You know what I'm saying? No, they was. He went up to ten. They was rocking. Oh, yeah, they was all project, smacking. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he was going they crazy. Was, they was rocking. That's the one that you was talking about. That's ten. That's ten. It's cocaine music ten. Mm. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. I would never thought about that until you said that point. Though. No bullshit. For real, for real. <laughs> no bullshit. That's crazy. I've been listening, to bro, for a, a long, long fucking time. time. He been consistent. He been consistent. No bullshit, he was. Let's talk about crazy. the female rappers. How y'all feel about them? Shit, I feel like they're going crazy right now. They're definitely going crazy. I ain't listening bow, to none of that shit. Bow, bow, bow. Listen, 
That's what, sexy red. Like Come you. on, hey, nigga, yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Get it sexy. Get it sexy. <laughs> get, it sexy. <laughs> get it sexy. No, so I'm my rituals. If I'm getting ready, is I'm gonna have some music playing. I, it just don't. It don't even matter what genre it is. It could just be anything. Mm-hmm. And I ran across this song with Glow and Megan Thee Stallion. And it's a part in there where she said, go Meg, go Meg. Oh, oh that's my anthem this summer. <laughs> every song. That's every, what that right. challenge That's the whole challenge. Every yeah. picture. Oh, that's, the, oh, that's, I, that's, that's that song. That's that's that song. Yeah, yeah, from that one. When, oh, the new challenge is going viral right <laughs> oh, now yeah. with them twerking. Mm-hmm. I heard that part. Y'all know my name, Megan. Yeah. Oh, man. I every, I'm posting it all summer long. Every picture I post. <laughs> go Meg. Go Meg. <laughs> Everything. Go Meg. <laughs> Say less. Let me tell you. I, I heard that. It's like, get them glow. Get them glow. <laughs> Y'all doing y'all thing. <laughs> nah, they definitely doing that they shit doing though right now. How y'all feel about Nicki Minaj punking these girls? I don't know why she's still talking to <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like she <laughs> she a legend. She's she doing to way, stay relevant. She yeah. really has She doing no what Drake place. doing. Nah. That's no, worse. To that's a certain like, extent though. That's like um, But Drake still beefing with the niggas that he came into the game with. Right. Cole, You're Kendrick, too far Ross. These girls. <laughs> like these she's girls she's just got in. She worse. You, she you worse. Wait, yeah, you you too old. That's like Mariah Carey fooling with Sizzle and her. Like, girl, you a legend. Oh, Stay yeah. over there and sit down. Yeah. And so, so she wanna she wanna Nikki trying she to dropped last right. year. I though. think the problem is it ain't no female rappers from her era though. Like Oh, uh, you got old girl up there. Who? Um Remy Ma? No, no. Uh, you said from her era, like or her where she's money. where she's from. No, her. No, from oh, her age her, range. Her, her. Like when she came out. Who was she? Era. Who was she uh, rapping with? Who was she rapping with? She wasn't. She was with Young Money. Yeah, but it, it wasn't, wasn't really. No it female wasn't. Rappers, she was a like powerhouse. That. Yeah, she was. Damn and she had a herself. whole different tune about us. Like, come on now, she was doing sound. Yeah, Nikki was. Nikki was rapping this shit. She was early on. And then she start. Yeah, then she start doing the Barbie shit. Yeah. And she took, yeah, it, Nikki was down there by herself. That's probably she why it is. She herself. was by herself. But still, man, I'm not stay talking to, yeah, I'm not talking you to y'all young bucks. You can never make me come off of my pedestal. <laughs> I feel you, I feel As you. As a woman, and I know I'm the goat of this, you can never make me address you peasants. I'm sorry. Uh, she sense. said, you can't beat me there if you had a leer. <laughs> Sitting in the Indian court, court side with a cavalier. <laughs> I said this girl Nikki she was, she was rapping broad. that shit oh, my, and then my, my. I really believed it when Drake came out and said yeah don't nobody touch her pad and then Wayne double back and was like yeah Nikki don't even play you like that you can tell by how she talks I was like damn yeah. you yeah. can tell by how she talks and her creative ability to be able to I say have alter egos all in one conversation like she would have been changed her voice three or four times talking right now yeah yeah mm-hmm. fact, she would have definitely and did sound that. effects and facial expressions and all of that it's almost damn near like autistic <laughs> I'm not lying. Like you, you, because it's some, those are like some the of sweat. the most talented yeah, individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Y'all watch that movie? Which one? What's that shit called? Is that is that Switch? Switch? Is it called Switch? Oh, I don't know. But I'm just saying. It's like, on Netflix. Look on Netflix. It's on there. Her ability to be able to like do that. You gotta, you gotta. Yeah, that's about crazy. That, is that what it is? Is it a form never, of that? I would have never low key. Like that. Is it low a form key. of that? I. Kendrick got it a little bit too. Kendrick do that too. He does. <laughs> he do it too. My background is in education, special education, okay. to be exact. Okay. I can tell you with some high function autism, they're super talented in areas that no, other yeah, people aren't. Yeah, yeah. So for you to say that she don't nobody touch her pad, I ain't going to put no labels on this lady, but yeah. like she's it just talented sense. in that way. It makes sense. You got voices. Damn, I You got different voices. That. These not no you're not pressing a button on the speaker to make that voice. You're doing it. She's doing that. She's singing. And She's singing. Singing. Right Moment right. for Life, my song. She got uh, that. What album was that? Pink Friday? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, Pink Friday was a good album. Bro. Pink Friday went bro, off. She took the world over. Pink I remember Friday the was world. A good album. It felt like the world shut down waiting for the album to come out. Bro. It it's funny God, I was bro. watching the video. Who was uh, buying Nicki Minaj perfume with her bro. head on it? Oh yeah, she was I going remember crazy. like the whole week. <laughs> she was going Everybody crazy, yo. By saw Nikki was going like crazy. Week, I was watching the uh, meme when the nigga was doing that. That lady said, "I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought. You see that shit? <laughs> but come to think about it, that's the, I think I ain't gonna say that's the only reason why she blew up like that. Was, but mainly because like it wasn't nobody else out. Like the Missy's, the E's, and all that, they was all gone. Eve couldn't have touched them. Missy yeah, was probably was, yeah. the only one who could have touched them. She, is the she only from a, a lyrical in. standpoint. Rob Rob, Rob wasn't rapping. Uh, old girl who just got out, she was locked up. 
Um, oh, I don't think she was gonna fuck with Nicki. Nobody yeah, could have. There's nobody. Trina was done rapping at the time. You but they was two different. Two yeah, Trina different was lanes. on some bad Trina bitch shit. Bad bitch. I'm gonna take a nigga money. Nicki Minaj was rapping. Nicki Minaj is rapping at that time. Like you go back to itty bitty. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was rapping at that time. That mixtape was I was listening to that mixtape on the bus yeah, at school. That. Like going home from That's school. What I'm telling you. I was listening to the whole Nicki Minaj tape, like, damn. She went off and she was rapping with nothing she but, rapping on this but motherfucker. Drake, Lil Wayne. Um, who was else who else was in that uh probably, that probably Tiger. Tiger was yeah. probably in that bitch. Mac so Mane, what's that one? The Mac, Mac Mane. Yep. And and she was fucking with Gucci and them a little bit. Gucci yes. first. Yeah, yeah. She, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was fucking with them first. So she back to how we said earlier. She was a, a girl rapping with, with all these dudes. Yeah, yeah. It set her apart real early. You don't have nobody who's going to be able to come out. Number one, anybody who was in her era that was rapping knew that they couldn't do what she was doing. Facts. I'm not about to embarrass myself with this lady. Yeah. And so when she had her baby and took the back seat, you, now you got these other rappers out kind of spinning the block back to the Trina, Remy Ma kind of days. Yeah, yeah. And really sure. coming out with just bops now. Okay. Cardi took off when she took when Cardi she, took off Cardi though. took off Cardi that, did her that, thing uh, What's that shit What's my shit Bloody shoes What's that shit Bodak yellow Yeah mm-hmm. She He's took off with that Bloody shoes She took off with to that Kodak. shit Cardi Exactly Yeah You said who Thanks Kodak. to Kodak She still That's took Kodak off song. though Thanks to party too. Right. You still took off. Listen, I'm not saying she is writing her own shit. Nah. <laughs> I'm saying she took off. That's what I'm saying. She, she took she off took in a major way. Off. I love her story. I appreciate her story. You, yeah, she you go got crazy. out the strip club, got on Love and Hip Hop. You were an outcast on Love and Hip Hop, and then you just came out and changed the game off of one song. She went crazy. One album. One, one album. I got one album. One album. She went crazy. Listen, it's crazy. Y'all said pop party writing that shit. Why the fuck he don't sell the same? Because it's not the same. I'm the, it's the same thing about just the basketball shit. It's business. Shay, through shay, through shay. See. Nigga could be the best. You could be the best at whatever the fuck you want to be the best at. That don't mean you're going to make no money at it. Yeah. I just need more than that. I just wanted to see what you were going to say. That's all. I was trying to stir the pot. <laughs> I still didn't listen to Bro album. Did you listen to it? Mm-hmm. Did you like it? No. Why? There's a couple songs on there, but he not rapping on there. He was trying to make hits. I don't want to hear And it's not no hit? He not Who? no hit. He not a hit like nigga. That, yeah. Party, uh, what's his name? Part, Partisan. Partisan Fontaine. Yeah. I don't want to hear that shit, then. Yeah, no. There's a couple songs on there I like. I but the whole heard thing a is, buddy into, I don't like, like hits. Megan, bro. <clears throat> no, I knew he was, I had, I knew he was writing for us. Uh, yeah, he wrote for He did that one song, um, Peach. Who, would, who on there with him? Was it Cardi or... City Girls. Yeah, I don't even. I think it's City I think Girls. Girls. City yeah. Girls is on that one song. I like that one it's song new? by him. Nah, it's old. Uh-huh. It's real old. Hey, I, I seen he had one TNN song by himself. Teresha arguing. I seen something about them niggas arguing. I don't know why. Hun Glow too. Who? All of them fighting. Everybody in two. Why everybody? You know what I'm saying? Retrograde eclipse. <laughs> Look, the men and the women on both sides. Yeah, everybody both fighting. Sides, everybody arguing. You arguing with your your group member. That's the only. That's the only answer, huh? I said y'all cannot do this on social media for these people. No, everybody trying to act a fool. That's what it is. Y'all got too much money. Niggas don't be understanding that, man. Niggas I shouldn't care about that. They care more about perception. Uh, image. Image. Man, put that phone down and go, on, you go to your on Instagram. What you paying your publicist for? Okay. Put your put your Twitter you down your and get on your private jet you know and go have a See, good time. Man, I'm not worried about nothing niggas is talking about. Man. <laughs> I'm with my people. Check my accounts. They right. I'm All right. With, I'm with my niggas fuck up. Twitter, I can't even I wouldn't even use the app wouldn't even be available. I have my own app. You're big enough to have your own app. <laughs> oh what the, I ain't even on Twitter, dog. You you big enough to man, you could you could come out with the City Girls app and it would go. Oh yeah, they definitely mm-hmm. they still gotta interact with their fans. That's a thing. Yeah, I'm now. just talking shit. You though. gotta interact with your I'm fans. I'm saying, I'm but saying, you ain't gotta beef. Bare minimum, they be yeah. beefing with their fans. Yeah, bare too. minimum, a nigga gonna say like that's just like me saying like we go in the club, niggas be hating on us. Like me walking, up, yo, nigga, you got a problem with me, nigga? If you don't say nothing to me, nigga, I don't give a fuck how you feel, nigga. On the cool, you can say something to me at the end of the day. I know who I am. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah, what I mean, my yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your hands. on I'm not addressing you. Like I'm just not. Yeah. You can't pay me to address you. Yeah. Mm-mm. It'd be, it be fucking niggas a lot. I just don't understand time, it though. Pause. I don't I don't understand when <laughs> when the women, like not the women, any all of the celebrities, like that that dry beef and that. Yeah. 
Over nothing. Over, Over nothing. nothing. Niggas don't even be Y'all got no all this money and y'all mad about what? Well, I'll tell you what, what Bro Franklin say. <laughs> Oh, you say you don't, don't, there's another, another nigga to talk. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nigga, we trying to make money. I don't give a fuck about what this nigga said. That's fuck it. him. <laughs> That's it. That's all. If it you don't like the way no another nigga talk. We're not talking about it. Hey, man. I can't, you can't pay me to talk about it. I'm sorry. Little nigga. You was a little nigga. <laughs> 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 fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? If anything got to extend beyond that, then... But yeah, then I see you when I see. Yeah, you. I see you when I see you. Okay. <laughs> Until then, you go stay a little, nigga. Yeah, see if that's all. What else you had? You got something else? Or you want me to ask what I had? Yeah, you can ask your question. Yeah. I don't even know how to word my question. Really, I was just trying just to talk about it. I know, but I did I word it right? I, I just was asking about love. What y'all thought about love? Right? I know, I know it's different types Ooh. of love. I know niggas done been Ooh. in love. <laughs> Damn! So like you gonna have a look. I mean, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. <laughs> I'm saying like I know niggas done been in love before in their life. Probably with with other more than one person. You know it feel different type shit. And then how the fuck do you know that you love a person? Like what is it? What would make you feel like all right? I do love this nigga. I know how to. I know I can tell when I don't love a nigga. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But. I just feel like you can love me. Is that my music? That's them in there. So, for me, I know I love a person when I start caring more than I normally do. Like, when I start, and like, I'm a natural born nurturer, so when I start to insert myself in your situation to make it better, okay, okay. that's when I'm like, oh, okay, this is different. Okay. You you pouring. That's you a good. That's a good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, yeah, that was a good one. Okay. Caring for a nigga. Yeah. Cause if not, you know, I'm not doing. I'm not doing it for everybody. No nah, facts. facts. They don't. They don't yeah, have them for random. Yeah, nah. How do, so how do you determine? Besides just being like, okay, I do want to care for this person, or I do fuck her. Do you just wake up like, damn, I'm low key fuck with this person, or is it just like? That's how it is. It's That's really, how it is for me, really. Yeah, when you like, when you thinking about a person a lot and you can see this person in your future and you really like rock with that person and y'all vibing when y'all together, it's almost like when y'all together, the world shut down. It's nobody but you and that person type shit. together. I think that's when you know it's something different. Yeah, like, like COVID. That's how I feel world, every time. <laughs> not every time, but those moments going to add up. And those, and then you, you keep reflecting on those moments. So every do time. you think that's love? Let me see. Let me yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think? Do you think you can sustain that? Like, do you think that's something you should be building your relationship off of with somebody? Else? So I don't think it's much of building your relationship off of it, but that's what you bring you and that person have when y'all are together. It's love. It's love, but it's more of the interaction that brings that of- love in the room. You know what I'm saying? And so. It's the interaction. It's the the connection. It's the connection that brings the love in the situation because the love is gonna come later on down the line. Okay. But you you get that deep connection with a person where you you want to be with them, around them twenty four seven. You want to see them. You want to talk to them. You Type think shit. you hearing songs and you thinking about them. Type shit. You singing songs and you thinking about them. You seeing stuff outside and like ooh that bad like that kind of yeah. thing. You know that kind of situation and. I don't think, you're, like I said, I don't think you're building your love or your relationship on that. It's just what happens organically. Type shit. It just happens. It just happens. And then that's when I feel like you get to, oh, dang. Because when you, I feel like when you get to that love part, it's kind of like a, it creep up on you. It is. That's you're fact. not that's fact. building up. I'm not dating you to fall in love with you. Like you fall in love with a person and it's it's straight organic. If not, it's forced. Yeah. It's so this time yeah. that we're spending, that's what's building up the love. Okay. That's that's what's getting us to where I'm 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 ready to say I love you. I'm ready to pour into you, and I'm ready to be with you each and every day, and not nobody else. Touche. I did have what you what you say to me whenever I ask them. Why you ask this question? Yeah. <laughs> so I want to know because you already mentioned it. What what? How do you know when you're not in love? You funny. Uh, I I. 
it, basically, like you said, like I start to not care as much. There you go. About shit, you know what I'm saying? It's the reverse. Like, yeah, like even if I was in love with you at a point, or I did love you, whatever the case. Once I start feeling myself, just not give a fuck about what you got going on. Like, oh. I don't just do that though it's, it's, it's a reaction to something So something had to have Happen for me to be like Damn do I fuck with this person Like that I don't think love Is a permanent thing That's what I was about to ask. That's what I was about to ask I was about to ask Say that you. again <laughs> Yeah love is a permanent <laughs> what, Why you say that I'm, That's I'm, why I asked you Do you build your Relationship off of that Oh uh, yeah nah Yeah love, nah Love isn't permanent so You gotta sustain that it's, right. Yeah, That's you it, you have to maintain. It got to be like a two party thing. If we got here because of this connection, it and then that up. connection starts to yeah. it's a gap that comes in the connection. My love, the gap gonna create yeah. a gap in my love as well. Yeah. It's gonna create a gap in my care. Yeah. My concern, like all of that is gonna it's gonna be a gap. And so at that point, that's when people say they fall out of love. Yeah, you you still care for that person. You don't yeah. love that person yeah. anymore. Yeah. You care about that person. I think that's just human nature, though. I think I think that that happened off a reaction of what's going on in, I guess, the relationship. Like, cause I ain't gonna say I just not love a person over time, just because I think I be I pay attention to what niggas do, and then from there on, then that's when I start to. It could be you growing. It could be you changing. And that's what that like I'm different on my thought process when it comes to that. I, I don't feel like I have the typical woman's response on relationships. What you mean? Um, I don't feel like people belong to people. Ooh. That's real shit. And so You can't control nobody. You can't control anybody. They can't do what they want. And although we could be in a relationship, it's, it could be a time where seasons change and we're not there anymore. That's one. And so we got to go our separate ways. And I'm not angry about that. Fuck. I appreciate that don't mean. Any of you and me experiencing yeah, you yeah. in this lifetime. Yeah. But I know that you don't belong to me. Yeah. And that don't mean at some point we can't come back. Right. It Fuck. don't mean we can't spend the block. We could spend the block if the universe says so. But it at happen. this moment, we got to. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's how I look at all. I'm like, nigga, I'm not finna do none of this. Yelling, all this extra shit. Like, nigga, we break up. Okay, cool. Thank you for the experience. Like you said, no hard feelings. Yeah, no hard feelings. No hard. And then yeah. a lot of people don't just like. We good. We good. We What's good. Up? We we gonna be the best of buds. It's I, never no hard feelings. That's why I like that you said that. You don't own. That's the thing. Niggas be wanting people that they control. Own. Like, no, yeah. you don't. I don't own you. You don't you own me. me. Just because we're you in a do something, I might feel a way about it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and then I'm going to choose to deal with it or I'm going to choose not to. You know, this is an, another thing. That's why I say I think di different from the typical, you know, the average woman is because I believe in marriage, uh -huh. but I also believe in divorce. Mm -hmm, facts. And so, it's there for a reason. Uh, okay. A lot of people are like, oh, no, I'm not getting. No, nah, if this ain't working, no that ain't more, never the plan. Facts. Yeah, we can go our separate ways. Facts. I done been, I've been married before in the military. So, <laughs> and I'm not gonna be mad about that. I feel like you deserve to go and experience. Yeah, bro, love live your life again. Live your life. Live a your different life. form of happiness from someone else. Facts. I'm and honestly, <laughs> I feel like that makes you that could possibly make you appreciate the situation better. This is a fact. That's what I think right there. I think once you see exactly what you should have seen. Then yeah, you might not be able to get that back. You may not be able to, <laughs> but you you but you can you find something close to it. <laughs> you, what you chill out? What you about to say? You about to go crazy? Yo, what? Look at him. Yeah, hey, look at him. You trying to go crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, you gotta you you might not get that back all the way, but what you say? School say you lose some perks. You lost some perks and. We, we, we gain some knowledge. Absolutely. We gain some knowledge. You like, might. You I'm might. just grateful to be able to say I experienced you. Yeah. In that space. Yeah. In this lifetime. Yeah. We had a good time. It was great it while was it lasted. That's was lit. the best thing ever. Long it was. ever. Damn, what song is that? <laughs> we had a good time. We've grown together. Okay. Oh, I forgot what's that. <laughs> We've grown together. Look how he sound when he said it, G. Look how he sound. We've grown oh together. God. That nigga old school pimping. I'm telling him spicing himself up. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, so hey, 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 he need to stand quick, on this motherfucker. Man, listen, you listen. Hey. While he talking. Beep. Yeah, we, yeah, we ain't going to do you like that, though. <laughs> we ain't going to do our man. Ask that nigga what happened. Uh-uh, Stop. I'm good. Yeah. That's my boy. Touche. That's what I'm talking about. I got you. That's real love back. right there. That's black love. You got to read the room. You got to read the room. But nah. <laughs> No, I think I think uh, he funny. He funny as a bitch. I'm funny. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, all, every, funny. everybody funny right. today. She, she said, "No, nah, you gotta read the room." <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Okay. <laughs> We're rolling. No. Hey. <laughs> no. no have Mike. Have Mike. No, but I just was asking. Though. I ain't had no to, to answer your question. I just was asking. I, I feel like. Uh, I love a lot of women, like surface level, I guess, I guess. Or I ain't gonna even say I love a lot of women. I had love for a lot of women. Mm. So, like, I can tell when I fuck with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can tell when I'm starting to fuck with somebody and it be like, then I choose how, how much I want to fuck with you or not type shit. But then I done loved women and then you know everybody different so you experience love in different ways type shit so I figured out like okay this is the type of shit that I fuck with like I might have loved such and such I don't know why I ended up loving you I just felt like you know what I'm saying but boom 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 then you experience something else with a different person it's like okay cool like this is more my speed type shit and then you go from there you said it already people are gonna bring out like you could be who you are but you with person A, person B, person C, it's gonna be totally different individuals. Totally sure. And you're one person because that person is gonna be able to pull certain things out of you that the other person ain't. And it could be positive, it could be negative. <clears throat> Facts. You know what I mean? So. You agree with that? That's you a better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at oh, bro, man. look at bro, chill. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> I will say this. When That's you, why I asked you that. I'm the same nigga though. I, I, not to cut you off. No, you good. Because they trying to say this is what I believe. You didn't say you was a different. Nigga. I know, I know, I know, I know. Not we you. Did. I'm gonna say school. I'm gonna say school. You glow. You, you know what I'm saying? That glow. I'm saying I'm glowing. You gays. No, <laughs> y'all got glow. <laughs> y'all have glows too. Men no, have glows too. I'm saying niggas we saying know, it is crazy. Li- women know when we have. When niggas we're saying I'm glowing. Glow. <laughs> niggas saying I'm glowing is crazy. <laughs> The skin different, the the way you walk different, the way you answer and respond to your phone, you looking at your phone is different. Uh, we know we're observing. You heard, you heard it, right? That woman is going. That woman is going to give you that. That Who's woman. That? Okay, you see, you pick Who's that phone up, check hey, messages. That's it oh right there. God. Let me make sure Bang and Bang know I'm at the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> oh my God, that's it's nothing nuts. wrong with it. It's sexy. You know how you that's said, okay? <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Hey, cut this shit out. <laughs> no, oh God. Now, no. now I want to know more. Oh my God! Yeah, just tell us what you're feeling, so you can really answer that question already. Hey, listen, you, you know. I do know you feel it, and I it's different I, from something you've ever felt before. And you no, like I, it. It's it's talk to him to, to answer. No, no, nah, nah, listen, listen. Yeah. listen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. This is what I'm saying, though. This is what I'm saying. You can't. You also can't force. Me, you can't force. I can't force what I do on other people, right? So let's just say I get in a relationship with such and such. I'm this type of nigga. You might not like me, excuse me, walking up to you, kissing you all in public and shit. PDA might not be your thing type shit. Like you may, oh, give me a look. You know what I'm saying? I may be with the next person and we, you feel me? We outside. I can't force that on you. You got to be the same type of person type shit. Like That has to be something that you, uh-uh. no? I don't agree. Why? Because I'm not a PDA girl. Uh-huh. But for Bay. You PDA. I'm PDA. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And so, so it, that ain't me then, though. That's not me then, nigga. You didn't. You already didn't talked about some stuff. Go ahead, nigga. We've already talked that about you, it. 
the thing is, do you do different stuff for different women? You oh, ain't been with every woman you wouldn't been with. It's some stuff you didn't done well, with this woman that you didn't do with this one. Girl, just best girlfriends. Like okay, I, that nigga, change what I'm saying. No, I'm saying so. Yeah, like if I. But you ain't done all the same stuff with every girlfriend. Like every girlfriend and got you to do something that you probably didn't do with another girlfriend that you didn't want to do. No. No, except for well, yeah, my last shorty, she didn't do what I had from my other girlfriend. Like I, I ain't gonna say didn't do, but as much she wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We had bland ass sex. I can't control that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I mean, I can control it to okay, a certain extent. Wait a <laughs> Listen, hear what, I'm saying, hear what I'm saying though. Like I'm, I can't, you said, you was listening. And you yeah. watched. You had I to can't, know at I some point he was, he was gonna yeah, get hit. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Though, I you, can't force you to do shit. No, you can't force. But in a relationship, if you I, really I feel like the way. Somebody, I feel that way. I feel the way. I feel the way. You now. do control it. I feel that way. And if you really like somebody, you I'm really want this person. And I feel that way too. But again. But that's, my, that's maybe why she was last shorty. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I ain't a nigga that got to get. The, I don't need you to survive. I can survive by myself. And so, uh, so yeah, that, that that that's what it boiled down to. At the end of the day, like we just not the same. I don't think you have to find somebody the same. Not even the same. We just not. You just, too far. We yeah, too yeah, not it's, the same. It's too. <laughs> you know y'all not saying? compatible. Exactly. Yeah, yeah we that's, not compatible. You, you're not compatible yeah. with that person. So yeah, that's that's that's. So then now that they see a nigga in a different space, yeah. You oh, are you, you different? Like nigga, and you yeah, glowing? Like glowing. And, she bring, and she bringing out the best in you. And you trying new stuff and you doing all kind of stuff you ain't never done before. I try like food. That's the only thing I that's try. That's a lot. That's a lot for this. nigga That's a lot. Your palate is. That's a lot. It is a lot. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I said to him. I, I told this nigga, to, I, this is crazy. You, like you ain't ever been in a situation like you. This shit crazy. That's okay. So to answer your question, how you know? I mean, yeah, yeah, that you is probably getting there. Yeah, yeah. And, and you tried it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was killing me. Yeah, yeah. He shrugged his shoulders and took his head to the side. He yeah, ain't yeah. Shit. Oh. Yeah. He went to go text me. He took that phone. That's what it was. He went to go text Bay. That's gotta you. tell her. We, gotta that tell that her, baby. We still at the podcast. <laughs> and we talking about you right now. Um, I love you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. That's, that's, that's hilarious. Funny. That's, you just yeah, you just read them though. That's why you ran up out of it. Uh-huh. That's exactly what that is. That's all that is. That's hilarious. But that's all we that's all we was initially Dude. telling them though. Like, bro, you just we seen you with, with such and such and then we see you with you know what I'm saying and it's it ain't two different things because we know you period and we ain't saying that you a different person uh-huh. but the way you react when you, everything is just like totally different yeah you just happy and you're not and I'm um, happy that you happy my nigga that's all it is yeah you're not you pushing happy back that you happy bro you're not pushing <laughs> back and you're in a better space and this person like is that, good though. for you you don't like being mushy <laughs> he don't it's, like us calling him out on his mushy. He's gonna called, be mushy with her. In it's private. called active resistance. He's he's resisting. <laughs> you're you're attempting to resist. He ain't got to. Yeah, baby, you ain't got to hide it. Hey, hey, what he say? What'd love he say? on that lady and let her love on you. What he say, Scoop? Man, <laughs> I'm all the way out the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Oh, he said, "I'm all the way out the way." That yeah. is cute, though. Oh, That's. Boy. I think everybody deserves that. Everybody deserves that. Everybody's entitled to that. To what? How to what you, you feel? That glow. Oh Get him glow. Oh Get him glow. <laughs> Get him glow. Oh <laughs> that glow. Oh my god. That glow. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't glowing differently. I just got a different person. No, that's. Give her her flowers. You know going, if you're going, so different, don't hit him. Come on, you, no, I'm, yeah. I'm saying like I'm saying I'm only saying that because these niggas swear to God I'm a different nigga. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with it's nigga. nothing wrong with changing. I mean, yeah, but I'm the same nigga though, like all the time. <laughs> just, just he's so with the right. I don't. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. And you can. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But I know what I do when I walk into a person's life. 
I know I'm changing the game. Okay. Facts. I just know that. Right. So you, you're. I tell you, when you come in the situation, you're not gonna leave the same. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 for sure. That's supposed to be the goal, though, right? Yeah, that is the goal. For some people, oh, uh, if they saying, I'm still the same. <laughs> I'm still the same. I'm saying, I'm saying, on, really, when I say that, I mean like on my morals, like I'm the same nigga all the time. Now, did I no, grow? You're from, not supposed to change it. Did I grow from? Yeah, like I told you last week, 10 years with Drake album and Kendrick. Did I grow in 10 years? Of course I grew in 10 years. How long y'all been dating? Damn. She about to break you down. She dropping it. Uh-huh. <laughs> we, we, been, we been talking since uh, January. We oh, been, it's still we, honeymoon yeah, phase. Yeah, it's still early. I don't believe in honeymoon phase though either though. I really don't. You don't? I think that honeymoon phase is... Like, yeah, like I'm starting... Like, I think you can... Uh, let me backtrack. I do it believe in honeymoon phase. It depends on your phase. definition. Yeah, yeah. I believe in honeymoon phase, but I think that niggas can keep the honeymoon esque if they wanted to. Absolutely, you can keep the fire burning. Yeah, niggas just be. You know what I'm saying? It's not just on the man. It's no, I'm saying both. when I say niggas, I'm oh, sorry. I mean you that, just mean people yeah, in general. Yeah, people yeah. in general. When I say niggas, that's what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Niggas gotta keep. It always gotta be like. I'm trying to make I'm sure my shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As long as I'm trying to impress you and make you happy and put a smile on your yeah. face, it's honeymoon face forever. Yeah, I'm kicking. We kicking it. Like I'm, I'm. We finna go out to eat, nigga. We finna go skating. Whatever the fuck you want to do, we gonna do it. I'm gonna make sure we got this. We gonna make sure we got that. We gonna be locked in because I want this shit to work. Type shit. Right. I think niggas don't be want that shit to work. At the end of the day, it's probably something that's transpired that. Kind yeah, of turned yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened. Off. Yeah, something happened. Something happened. Something to happened to turn that person out where you just like. <clears throat> No, yeah, it is I don't it really is. care no more. Yeah, it is what it is. And that's why I say that's why I know. That's how I be knowing. Like when shit like that happen, for me, I be like, oh yeah. Like if we together, we together. If we ain't, then I ain't gonna go cheating on you or no wild shit. But yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> 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 it is what it is. That goes you know back to hey, don't nobody belong to us. Yeah, Let no, that yeah, yeah, go. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I done been. In, I learned from that early though. Like being in situations where you, you know, how motherfuckers be trying to stick around and be with you, <clears throat> knowing damn well it's like, like, yeah, nah, I don't want. I'm gonna cheat on you. I know for a fact I'm gonna cheat on you if if this happens. If X Y Z happens, if the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat on you. I'm gonna cheat on you. I don't want to play that game with you. Let's, then, let's just get up out of here. Absolutely. Let's just be free. <laughs> yeah, let's get up out and of here. And move on. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. So, how long? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you can go ahead. Uh uh-uh, uh, nope. Go ahead, G. <laughs> she was about to ask me something else, which oh, is about to say. I'm about to ask you. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. You in the hot seat with this love question. You brought it up. I only asked it, though, just because I want to know. Like I, I, like I said, I done been in love before. I'm 33, my nigga. So, just knowing though, like how I, how I have been in love, it will make a nigga be like, damn, I don't even know how I love this nigga type shit. Like just looking back or why I love this nigga, just knowing what I know about myself now. You've evolved. You ain't. It ain't supposed to be the same. <clears throat> yeah. So that's that's why I asked that question though. Like what yeah. type shit? Type shit. It wasn't. It wasn't nothing deeper than that. I mean, but y'all didn't answer the question though. They didn't answer the question. How do I know I'm in love? Uh-huh. All of the above. We said a lot of shit. Yeah. I don't even know. I, I can say really that I care about you. But I want I want you to, I say that I want you to be better. As a like person? If I want, yeah. So then that's how you know you love the person? Yeah, like if I'm doing something to better myself, I want you to either do that or do something yeah. parallel to it. Okay. You don't be feeling nothing? So you just be like, fuck it, I'm with you. Dude, like the connection shit? Yeah. Nah. Uh-uh. How long has it taken for you to love a person? Uh, What's the shortest time? The shortest time? Yeah. <laughs> Get a couple months. You hear me? What's a couple? <laughs> it don't take <laughs> Two. long. Yeah, yeah, it really don't take Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, don't it don't take long at all. It's, it's, it ain't really a time limit. It's, it's based on the yeah, amount of time yeah, yeah. we ain't that, spend together. That's basically yeah. what I was asking. Really. Like, because how the fuck you spend together? Like, if we spend every word. day for two months, 
I'm gonna fuck around and be. I'm fucking with you for that for a reason. So after two months, it's like, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> damn, it, I love you, baby. I'm gonna tell you, and I ain't mad about it. You don't need to tell me back right now. God, they all give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure all the times I didn't been in love, I was the first one to say it. Type like, shit. Every time. I ain't. I say majority probably like I ain't gonna lie. I think I love you, nigga. No, that's how. I, that's how. I that's how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 you really run about your crew first, like. Damn. I fuck Dang, with this nigga I like that. I, I, I think I love. Yeah. Do I? And then you think about it, and then you run about that person. Hey, you feeling like I'm feeling? Yeah, yeah I'm feeling we, like. We be on feel. some. I think I fuck with Shorty. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You are. I wake up thinking about I think you. I, I go to sleep Shorty. thinking about you. I want to be around you all day, every day. Oh damn. Yeah, that's what it is. Touche. So hey, love really don't got no time limit. It just absolutely. That's just nah. happens. Nah, like it just happens. Spending that, that time spent. If we spend a lot of time together in those first couple months, then who knows what the hell can bloom? Yeah, yeah I time. like being around you. I like yeah. talking to you. Yeah. Cause I love your energy. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. sure. I just want you around me. Type shit. We ain't got to be like doing talking. nothing. Yeah, no bullshit. Around. No bullshit. No bullshit. Yeah, I think niggas be trying crazy. to do the most, but really, like I'm an in the house nigga. I be low key. I be like to be low key, but like, yeah, you can really just be in this bitch sleep. Be right over there. <laughs> I'm straight. Like, you feel me? You like, I'm. There, I sit here. As long as you accessible to me. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> if I want to come hop in the bed with you, or if I want to look at you or some shit, I'll give you, you a little wake kiss. Up open, yeah. All my life, like, yeah. Just man. being around it, I'm telling you, the, time, the moment. Yeah. The connection. And that's the energy that you connect to. <clears throat> yeah, but I guess I say because the connect, like I, I can disconnect like easy, like just as I fast as too, I can connect. I can do that too. I can. What you about to say about that? You don't like that? I can. Is it harder for women or you? I'm different. Okay, you, you. I'm different. Okay. Um, I respect that. When it, when it comes down to like a kind of like being a woman, I'm just different on a lot of principles on what I think about. You a Leo. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that means. How you know? You said, said July. You said July. I'm listening to you. Oh yeah, and I did, yeah. I'm, I'm just different on that. So I disconnect and I. It's like a light switch. If I'm on you, I'm on you. If I'm off you, I'm off you. That's what it doesn't mean that the dick. other individual dick. feels that way. No. Yeah, and that yeah, can be yeah, harder yeah, to deal yeah, with because yeah, now yeah, you yeah. have emotional attachment where somebody <clears> else is like, no. What the we, fuck? Yeah, like yeah. what you mean? <laughs> and so, when you when you get to that, do y'all do you try to? Do you know that you feel like I don't want to fuck with the nigga, or is it like I'm starting to feel like I don't want to fuck with the nigga? Oh nah, I know it. You already know it, so it be it don't even be no it conversation. It don't take long. Uh, you can't. We not even having a conversation about it. Can can a nigga change it? If they. Uh, I'm fair. <laughs> Let me say that. I'm a fair person. So absolutely, you can change it. I feel like you control because I'm going to put the ball. It's, come on. Okay. It's right there for you. I give you the, the game plan. It ain't nothing for you to figure out. I'm super right. transparent. It's a, it's not a will versus skill situation. It's straight on you being willing to. Okay. And I, if you're not willing to, <clears throat> then I'm, I don't have time to waste. Too sure. And that goes back to my, I don't believe we belong to nobody. Too sure. So, yeah, I definitely believe that. I be telling niggas all the time, like, bro, <clears throat> just like how niggas be acting like they got all the hoes. Like, if I had a shorty, if you ain't getting no train ran on you, I don't care, bro. I don't care. You can tell me you fucked a hundred niggas over your lifetime. Everybody yeah. has a past. You know what I'm saying? Listen, don't. And we're me. grown. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, 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 or don't tell me nothing. Like, don't tell I'm not finna come up to you at, <laughs> at 30 years old and be like, yeah, hey, you got a train wreck. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Like, bro, okay, you, you think I, I ain't the first nigga you fucked? Don't ask me. I'm not <laughs> Sorry, don't even, you know what I mean? We don't care. <laughs> this is day one of our book. Of my life. I and just we're gonna write you. this story together. Just just you wasn't there. You was not there at all. So it didn't matter. It didn't even exist in my mind. I didn't know you were alive. Didn't even know you. Didn't know you were alive. I didn't just care. Because at that moment, yeah, but. The only reason I need to know is if my safety, like. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it's a crazy you got a crazy ass, you know what I'm saying? Do you got a delusional? <laughs> yeah. You got a delulu? It's a crazy thing. Just gonna show up here, yeah. knocking on the door. But yeah. I can read the room on that too. No, yeah, you definitely can. Yeah, yeah. motherfuckers be. 
Oh yeah, you got some shit going on. Okay, you still <laughs> you still dealing with such and you such. You got some shit going on. You still nigga. dealing with such and such and such and such. Still dealing with you. Yeah. And I don't want to be caught up in the mix of you and such and such. So I'm let's on let that. that go. I'm straight on mm-hmm. that. Yeah. But yeah, love has no time limit. And when you really really feel it, you're gonna be willing to go to the end of the world. The end behind yeah. that person. It don't matter. The end and on that. You know what though. When you feel that for that person, G, what you say? <laughs> he trying to get out of it. I ain't old no. Been quiet. I, I, I ain't, ain't try, I'm trying to get out of it. It's just no. I kind of. I'm kind of with school. It's almost like a a vibe type thing for me. It ain't even got to be said. Most times with me, I've told the person, like, I know you love me. Like, I told them. Like, oh, yeah, I done, done said that. I done said that. <laughs> you can tell our nigga what stop a nigga doing for you, bro. Right? Yeah. <laughs> stop stop nigga, I know you love like, me. Like, listen, this is where we at. I, yeah. know, I, know what, I know what it is. I know what I'm doing. Treat, I know how much time. Come that's on. That's it right there. And I know what Facts. I'm doing. Because I'm going, I'm doing things. When I start doing things that's out of me, I'll be like, damn. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. I feel that, though. You feel me? So, like, and it, and I don't feel bad about, I don't feel bad about it. Not that I don't feel bad about it, but I, I know, I know I'm gonna get the homies gonna be like, ah, oh, nigga, you. <laughs> it's just us <laughs> fucking around with each other. But yeah. I know I'm going to tell them, be like, yeah, shit. It is that's what it baby. Is. You know what I'm saying? So they, 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 you know what I'm saying, say that little what shit. What you like said? That's baby. What I say, nigga? You act like I be the only nigga saying that. Wait, what? Because <laughs> he, he be saying, I be saying baby, baby all like, the time. Don't, start, baby. don't call her baby to us. Man, he yeah, that's all he he'll say that to us. He call her that to us. So what? That's baby. Oh, that's no, baby. nigga, don't call her though. That shit don't bother me. No, don't hey, nigga, call her her name to be baby. <laughs> nope. That's baby. baby. <laughs> yeah, we talk to her like All that. I know is you baby. Me. I don't even know what her name is. Okay, I don't know her name <laughs> before she just baby. <laughs> Boy, no up. bullshit. <laughs> That's that glow. That's that glow. Oh, I, that glow. I, I get him glow. Get him glow. Get him glow. <laughs> Look what niggas <laughs> doing. Look what niggas doing hey, to she me. She gonna eat off this one. <laughs> For real. <laughs> she gonna eat off this one. Man. I'm gonna go. We ain't putting shit up. Shout out to baby. Shout out to baby. Shout out to baby. Hey. Shout out to Zeke. <laughs> 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 look at look at that nigga. I still you. Nah, you still big bone for sure, bro. This I don't like this shit, bro. Shout out to Zeke. I don't know you kind of ain't tightening enough. You messed it up now. That motherfucker won't tighten. No way. Fuck this punk ass dude. I already mean. But it's all good. But what? What you about to say? I wanted to say. Wait, I'm not sure where you, what school wanted to go. But I, kinda I was gonna ask her about the realtor shit that's what I was just about to say I kind of want to just Look at y'all. Take, a pivot, oh, two minds. take a pivot and understand how like you became this mogul in that lane and then like how did you get all of these moguls to meet at the five and like come, like, come together and just discuss like how they did what they did and like how was your thought what was your thought process besides, besides that like I know it's a two parter but I was kind of curious about both things so I kind of wanted to you like answer one then segue to the other one if you can so you're going to have to give me the second one again. It's but, like, I'll I get back to it after you answer yeah, the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it in um, my head. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to be chopping it up. Nowhere close to mogul yet. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I had a background in education. I got tired of just like, so I, I'm always trying to learn and get better with anything I do in life. And um, I used to I always sit up and watch like HGTV. And I'm like, these regular people making this kind of money where they was so it was shows that was showing you a commission they were making. Oh, shit. I was like, Hmm. But I was like, okay, I was learning the process. I was seeing them flip homes, seeing them build homes. You know, HGTV is all things houses. Mm-hmm. I'm literally spending hours at a time watching this shit, just binge watching stuff. And I did it for a while. I was doing good in education, like <laughs> higher ed admin and stuff like that. And, um, Put the mic closer. I was like, I want to try something different. I got this in the bag. I feel like I'm just kind of like content and I'm just constant. I'm not growing. I was like, all right, what can I do? I literally said, and was like, what can I do? And I'm an entrepreneur at heart. So I've owned a, be- a beauty supply store. I've owned um, hair lines, all of that. Like I've done like the hustle is in me, oh, period. So I was like, all right. <laughs> Let me let me go figure out how to do this. Got on Google, figured out how to get my license. Like I'm about to start this real estate stuff. I started it. 
seven years ago now. And at first it was different, way different than what it is now. It was just like, okay, helping people that, you know, get into, you know, homes here and there. And then it kind of just took off. A lot of people started spreading the word. And then I prided myself on like finding the underdog. Mm -hmm. And I said the underdogs as far as like the houses or the people buying the the people buying the houses, the people who didn't think that they could become like homeowners, the people who don't have the credit score. I'm a certified credit consultant as well. Like, I was like, let me put all this together. So I'm going to go. My audience is the underdog. Mm -hmm. I want the people who did not think that they could get in the house. You know how many people I have in homes that are homeowners? It was like, Megan, my credit score is up. Like, don't worry. Give me a couple months. This is what we're going to do. Print out your credit report. How we do that? All right, boom. Let me show you. And But that goes back to my education. I like teaching people shit. Yeah. And I like teaching people and turning people <laughs> on to different stuff. Oh, I told you earlier, any person who come, you're going to leave different than how yeah. you came in. Yeah. So that's how I can, I'm like, all right, I want to help everybody. But to the average realtor, they want somebody who's ready made. They want that money. That's they want it. that money immediately. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool with nurturing. Sure. I'm cool with the engagement over time. I'm like, all right, chill. You can only lease a house right now. Really These 12 chill. months. That this you lease in this house, this is what I want you to do. And in a year, I promise we're going to get in the house. You follow this game plan, this book, I'm going to give you all the cheat codes. I'm going to give you all the cheat codes, and that's what I did. And it's just been I was, about, I was just talking about that shit this morning. That's all, that's all I did was find all of the underdogs, people who did not think that they were going to become homeowners, who had messed up credit, bankruptcies, liens, all kind of stuff. And when I tell you it's harder to rent a property than it is to buy a property, I'm not lying. Like, they just feel like, but some people feel like, oh, I can't do it until you meet me. And I'm like, no, let me show you how we're going to do it. Yeah. And I just take over and I go from there. And then I just been helping people. And it's all about me helping people want to change people's lives. Like, when I say that, it's not just about a bag for me. It ain't about a bag. The bag is cool. It's bigger than that. I want you to be able to have something for you and your kids to be able to go to and be able to live in. It's you say you own this. This is yours. And it's business. At the end of the day, you owning this house, you making money. You got money. If you needed to get out of it for whatever reason, you're going to leave the situation better than what you started. So I'm educating you on how to become a homeowner, how to bring the least amount of money to the closing table, how to get all these type of grants that's out here. Okay. You don't want to own the house no more. We're going to put it on the market to lease it. Now it's a, it's a business deal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So just like teaching people that over time has really brought me my clientele. When people know that I know what I'm talking about and then I'm willing to put the money where my mouth is like, <laughs> I ain't tripping. And they know I'm like, hey, print out your credit report. I'm about to show you exactly what you got to do. I do with clients every day. You got to. Um, yeah, we go lock it. You got a, uh, yeah, a new house. something you was doing this month, didn't you? Yep. I forgot what it Black and real estate. Black no, real you said estate. you was doing something for people. Oh. Like was, uh, and for women, what? I think. Guess how I got three. It's, yeah. it's for the quarter. Yeah. So I was looking for five women. Mm-hmm. Five women, underdogs. Mm-hmm. May not be underdogs as far as like, oh, bad credit or whatever, but you, you know, you don't have the perfect profile. Mm-hmm. I got three already. Just based on me, you know, I want to help people. Yeah. And it's like something happened after I did my home buying seminar where people were like, all right, let me tap in. And I, I, I'm I, going to keep my word. My word is all I got. Print out your credit report. Let me see what you got on it. Because I did the credit consulting and I have that background, the education. I got certified in it. I can tell you what's derogatory, what need to be moved, what's this going to look like. You can tell me how much money you make and I can tell you what your debt to income ratio is based on looking at your credit report and looking at how much income you got. I can tell you what my lender going to do because I've been working with my lenders for years now at this point. So I said I wanted five women and by the end of the year, if not by the beginning of the year, we're going to be in some houses. That was, that was kind of like my, my charge. Like this quarter, I'm working on getting the five women and by the end, we working on it and I already got three. I need two more. And that's on top of my other client. And it's April. I just started in March. I announced it at the end of March. 
this April, and it just took, it April. just took off like that. But that's me wanting to help because a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people want ready made buyers and ready made people. Everybody ain't ready made. You got to put something yeah, yeah, in the, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I just feel like somebody got to help. You don't. You might be the first person in your family that's interested in purchasing a home. Yeah, but you know, auntie and mama, they cool with this and the third. But you like, no, I want something for my family to be able to have. Got you. And then the, I don't knock the, the people who own houses. Go. People don't know it. I'm working with people right now who are about to have housing vouchers pay for them a home that they're going to own. So, you know, people frown up on Section 8 in government assistance. It's programs that, like, you can ha- you can work with that will have you buy your house through your voucher. Come on now, why we not own houses? Yeah, that's crazy. Tell me why. <laughs> Niggas just don't know. They don't, don't know. know. That's, that's what it really is. Niggas just don't know. They don't know, or they feel like, oh well, I don't want to do this and I want to do that. No, you, let's some do people it. think it's harder. They too, think man. it's harder, but if you got somebody to hold is. your hand who's patient, I know that me being patient for six months to a year with you is going to help you. And it's going to help me at the end at of the, the day. At the end of the day, I'm going to be straight. You're going to be straight. Because they, they paying so much money. Like, it's... Let me tell you something. <laughs> when I say... When I click when the link I, in my nigga, bio... Nigga can't do it. The nigga do this. <laughs> click the link in my... <laughs> it's click real. Click the link in my bio. Because it's, it's... Man, it's so much... It's so easy. Yeah. It's Play harder this. to rent a pro- to rent a property. They want you to have three times the income. Facts. They want that's you to have nothing on your credit report. That. I still don't even understand. Like, that. tell me what that matter. Why does that matter? They want they want you to have out this type of credit score. <laughs> buying a house don't need all that. You don't need all that buying a house. They want that money. They want to know you work and that you're working. They want to know that you're disciplined enough to save up a certain amount of money. Oh, shit. You don't even have to use that money because you can get down payment assistance. So to answer your question, I just educate people. So it goes back to my background and educate people. Know. You the only thing that owned the crib. You know what I mean? I thought we talked about this before. I don't know. I don't well, I mean, I know I mean, we just talked about, about it like that. It's easier yeah, than yeah. what people. I mean, think yeah, you might have said that, but it's <laughs> easy. It's one of the the biggest purchases you'll ever make in your life. But comparing it to renting a property, it's easier. Buying a home is easier than renting a property. And you can ask any real estate agent, any realtor out there, they're going to tell you it's harder to deal with a lease than it is to purchase a home. I'm just thinking about how when I moved here and I leased, and then when I went through to buy my house, it was, it was hard. It was hard. hard. I had to bring them to just as much money and shit. <laughs> like, they want to the triple the five <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's a fucking apartment, (laughs) right? This is the one, right? How many square feet again? Because I didn't paint paint the wall. What color? What? Then you can't do nothing. Yeah, I can't put a hole over here, and I can't mount my TV and do no. So that's how I feel like I got my brand out and my name out, and I started helping a lot of families and people. I was just educating them, and I was patient, and I am patient, even to this day. My people come back. And I'm just patient. I'm just real patient with them. And I make sure that they know, like, hey, we're not in a hurry. Take your time. We're going to do this. A lot of people get scared. Oh, I don't know what to start. I don't know what to do. Here, this is what we're going to start. Let me have you talk to my lender. I'm big on relationships and, like, making that connection. We're not just going to fill out an application. Talk to them first. Tell them your situation. Better yet, I'm going to go and speak on your behalf. I feel like you gotta be have some patience to be a realtor, though. You gotta have a lot of patience. Showing. Yeah, because I don't know why. I wouldn't be able to do it. I can't do that. Bro, shit. pick something. You- Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be showing you 20 houses. No, pick but, that, but when you are in real estate, you have to have that, though. But that's also Education. knowing what your client is looking for. You got to set parameters and boundaries on as far as oh, okay, how far okay. you, you're going to go. Okay. And so you're I'm doing not that showing research you. already before you even. Absolutely. Based on the conversation. And you could tell me and I'm listening to you. I'm big on like listening and making sure that I'm paying attention to your wants and needs. You could tell me, yeah, um, you know, I want to have a family in the next two years. And then you want to say you want to get a condo. 
Oh, I, okay. How this family gonna work in this? Yeah, that but that's for sense. me to push back on you and tell you, no, the condo not really gonna work for the family. Yeah, because you I gotta want to get real, up out of here. You are gonna have to get out of here. So <laughs> you want a family, and then I go back to you want a family. You want this condo lifestyle? Well, you gonna do bachelor? You want the family? Which one are you gonna do? Pick one. Oh, and I go back and forth with my clients a lot. Um, oh, we need a bathtub. We want this big yard. We want this cool. Let's talk about it. What's the trade off? Because it's no perfect home unless you build a custom home. Yeah. Even still, it's something you forgot. Yeah, always, it's always, always. It's, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's when I say, "Hey, it's a business move. It's a business decision. You got think about the money you're gonna make." Literally, I have a closing yeah. that's scheduled for this week. Um, we got the appraisal back, and it's I want to say fifty thousand more than what Wonder. my client is paying for it. You walk in with fifty k equity, right off the rip. Right off the rip. Fifty thousand dollars equity. Tell me, I need that. You know what? I want that. <laughs> want I that. Need that. Want that. What the lady? Yeah, what the lady say? You heard she said want. Yeah, I mean same thing. I mean, I'll be saying I need that just because that's a little saying. Yeah, but now nah, you yeah, need I that. You really yeah, I do. Need that, nigga. And so I want that. Um, in real estate, to answer your next question about that, um, in real estate, we don't see a lot of us. In real estate, so I thought it was really important. And shout out to E. Grayson, um, because he he's always pushing everybody around him to like be better in their lane. You know, like a lot of people try to get out of their lane who, who is, and do other stuff. E. That's Grayson, the light skinned dude. Owner of the five, one of the owners of the five. Oh, okay, okay. That's what that's E. Oh, yeah. that's it. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. I'm thinking when you did your uh, when you did your uh, your event there, uh -huh. and the light skinned dude who you shot it out. I think you said he was like over y'all. Uh, no, that's over the Dallas Housing Authority. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, that's okay, that's okay. over. Um, yeah, he's like with the Section Eight. Yeah, voucher. He, that's him. He's so, he, he was he just going. a guest at the event. Okay, okay. Um, but no, E. Grayson is the one who um who got with uh me and Josh. It was like, hey, y'all doing the same thing. Y'all great at what y'all do. Let's try to get it together and see what we can do. And it was supposed to happen a year ago. And it was like we kind of postponed and postponed and it's like finally we hit the ground running and got everything where it needed to be. And I'm actually proud of where it's going to. I ain't to. gonna lie, that shit was smooth. But it's hard to, and so the reason being is because we don't see a lot of us. We don't see a lot of black people out doing certain things. Mm -hmm. And you may see a lot mm -hmm. of black realtors, but you don't see a lot of black escrow officers. You don't see a lot of black um, black attorneys who are doing real estate. You don't see a lot of black inspectors, black appraisers. And so that's why we say black in real estate because we want everybody from all different walks in the industry to come in. Even if you do marketing, that, that nice camera you got? Oh yeah, come on now. Yeah. I know you know how to work a, a drone. All this technology in here. Come on, though. Like, that's black and real estate. Right. That's why you need to be in those rooms. We pay a lot of money for marketing material. Headshots, video footage of these houses. And it's light work for you. But being in those rooms, you're getting your opportunity to rub shoulders. Soaking up game. To hear what everybody does, to see what they offer, to see the black lenders. I work with black lenders. I work, my lenders are black. That's they big. look like me. They understand. I have their cell phone numbers. They're inviting me to backyard barbecue. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, that's big. I work with them. That's a real relationship. And so that's what it was all about is like developing a network for you to be able to use when you need somebody. Like, and they look like you. You know they coming from the same angle that you coming from. They mm -hmm. experiencing the same thing that you experiencing. That type of situation. Because oh, you go to other events. It's a little different. It's a lot different. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot different. A and they're not always, just being transparent, they're not always trying to help you. No, yeah, fast. They're not always trying, trying to help to us. That. And so that's one of the things that we were trying to do with, you know, Black and Real Estate Networking Event. It's a happy hour. It's social. It's chill. Come as you are. Get in here and meet somebody who can help you grow your business. Hey, hey, no, nah, she capping. Cause them motherfuckers have been in that boy was spiffy. We was out of place with our hoodies on. No, y'all was in that boy dressed. <laughs> they be clean. No. They be clean. They be in that we hole coming clean from work. Bit. Right. So it's not, it, don't, it ain't even come as you are. No, it's coming. Cause y'all be in that boy clean. clean. Y'all be in that clean if y'all coming up. That night, in that night I on met you, she had some sparkly dress on. Man, <laughs> listen, bro, damn. I, the, the Josh is the Where guy with the, uh, the bird bun. Yeah, bro, this nigga be wearing. He in a suit every day. 
He in a Talking about come as you are. Y'all huh? come and y'all dapper. No. Because they gonna be in a dapper. No, I'm look, I'm comfortable. That this ain't, ain't this what you went to the five of that Tuesday. I got you. The next, <laughs> the next outfit. I got you. She said, "I'm laying back next time." I got you. I Touché. got you. Touché. I, I had, like I'm telling you, if we we chill. No, nah, that's a vibe though. It was definitely a vibe. Oh, definitely we a vibe. we talked to a couple people in there still and um just mingled. Yeah. Because like they always ask us what we doing with the camera and whatever. And I'm regurgitated back to him and be like, "Hey, if you need anybody to do whatever." I'll let him on this But that's what we kind of Just Yeah Yeah, yeah so the it, next time Y'all shows. come to the five I need y'all in shirts Like What shirts? Media guy Okay Oh yeah <laughs> Ask less. me what I, I'm your media guy Say less All things media Like we pay, paying Money for that oh, To man. companies That we don't know That I can't call Yeah yeah you we, got we it. got you though then, No for real <laughs> We got you And then you got a different eye You have a different eye For things that Right, we can't yeah. shoot for. Yeah, even a commercial, like you know, how much people charging for that? No, nah, facts, niggas. A one minute nah, commercial with edit. Right, I y'all know. doing a whole podcast? Got expensive equipment? No, you're not just coming in to see what's going on. No, I'm visual, creative. What? Touche. You right? We slipping. Right. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna change your life. Change. You just say if we you, meet you, we if I can't do this, I'm gonna put you on to some money. Hey, oh, to God, some man. paperwork. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> I'm telling you, nah, that's real shit. Listen, though. Tell, real tell shit. me what's something like the like the biggest misconception or like something that people forget when they buy a house or when they trying to buy a house or sell because I can use sell houses too. Two things. Because I know it's one thing. I'll say one thing that's personal is that this person that you're dealing with is working for free until this deal closes. Type shit. Damn. That's why I just said I'm not going to be showing you 20 houses. I ain't getting paid. That's one thing. That's one thing. (laughs) From the time I pick up the phone with you and I start investing all of this energy in you and time into you, I, I have nothing. I'm exerting the energy. I'm giving the money. It's my gas. It's my time. All of that. That's one thing that that people forget. The other thing is that you are not attached to this thing for the rest of your life. The house. Yep. A lot of feel like a lot of people feel like, oh, I'm making this purchase and it has to be perfect. Yeah. Like nigga, you might move. Man, get, <laughs> in five get, years, get the house. <laughs> Get that house. You like it. You yeah. like it. It's in your price range, your budget. You can see yourself in it. Get that house. You don't want it. Guess what? I Dang. tell people that I'm going to sell it. Sell <laughs> the same it, person who put I'm going to sell it. And you're going to make some money off of it. <laughs> and you're going to be grateful. And we're going to find something else you like. Touché. But a lot of people feel like it's so big. I have older clients oh, who yeah, have never owned homes. I can see that. Because they're afraid. Older people are always afraid to do anything, really. Because but they're afraid. Yeah, I can see that. And so, because they're so afraid to... It's a lot of single individuals who don't have somebody to hold their hand and walk them through it together. And they like, oh, no, I don't think I can do it. And then my mom and papa and them never owned a house, so I don't know that yeah. I can do it. No. Ahead, Come on. Yeah. Come on, Miss Such and Such. Just and I'm going to call want. you Miss Such and Such. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Miss Such and Such. Let me hold your hand. Let's get you into a house real quick. That's crazy. Your grandkids need somewhere to play. Let's do it. But that's they feel like it's their forever kind of situation, and it's not there by no means. Right. The average person is going to run through at least three homes before they find their last one. Really? Oh, shit. I ain't never heard that. You ain't no realtor. Yeah. You're going to go through three. You got your starter. I can see. He already done went through one. So you got, your, you got your starter. Then you got your one where, okay, the family may have grown. Now I need some more space. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or I needed to flip that one and make the money off of that one mm-hmm. so I can go get something better. Because mm-hmm. now I got a little skin in the you game. Made, yeah. Then I write, I got this one. But it still ain't, game. yeah, it still ain't, you know, everything I want it to be. Now, okay, I'm getting old. This, I want to find my favorite house. It's your three. Yeah. You go through your three. That's crazy. I ain't never I would've never thought about that either you gotta think about how many people paying off houses I'm only saying that because like 
I, I, I am from Milwaukee. I was born in Mississippi, though. Mm-hmm. My people stay in the same house that they stayed saying. in, nigga, since I was. <laughs> All my grandparents, my uncles, they my, my mama, them. That's, they that's country but, living, though. That's country living. But, you know, that's for individuals who. We, I have a family home. We have a family home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't live in their home. Okay. You see what I'm saying? They, it's a rental property. Yeah. yeah. That's, and so they that own passed. third, fourth. Our, our shit passed down to yeah. whoever fuck around and still be there. Don't have me around. <laughs> that shit gone. Sell it. <laughs> Listen. That shit gone. <laughs> hey, look, that's like on the same type let of thing. If I don't go there, like, I'm yeah, not I'm going not there. I'll never here. go there. Like, like, yeah, go ahead, let that shit fly. We should meet at the community center. Why do we have to be here where. Let that shit fly. Such and such cook. Yes, those are sentimental. I will say it's, it's some value. It don't in even it. be real. It don't even be but real, though. Like, when I think about I, the financial gain, especially if you have family members that could take this. Oh, my life. Twenty thousand dollars if we split this bust house, it down. bust it down, and go and explore their entrepreneurship, that could set them up for life. Yeah. Or were we holding on to this property that's back on taxes? Or we arguing about who gonna pay the taxes? That's the one. Yeah, that's it. Right you know, them like <laughs> they say, don't sell. A lot of people don't sell. Grandma, and mama, it that depends on who you're selling it to. I'm selling it, it, and I don't care who I'm selling it to. It depends on who you and how you selling it. Respect don't me. give it away. If my grandma gone, she don't even care. Listen, it's it's kid. more of a once I'm gone, sometimes. do whatever you want. No, yeah, fact, I'm like, gone. yeah, bro, like <laughs> ain't nothing I, I can do. I'm not living in it. I'm not driving a car. I'm not. You know I can see if your family member didn't have somewhere to go. No, nah, that's different. That's different. Yeah, you got the. Crib. That's different. If and then some people move? want their heirs to have something to hold on to that's you know sentimental. Pictures. Keep the family home. This, that, and the third. Niggas but hold again, on to stuff so long that they been in lost. It enough. ain't no value yeah, in it. Yeah. Or you back and behind on taxes, and it's up against foreclosure and. But that's a lot of cases that I run into. A lot of my market off market deals, people are behind on taxes. Type shit. Because family ain't paid the taxes, but family want to keep this property in the house in the in the family, and we ain't doing what we supposed to do to maintain it. Now the city gonna sell your shit for ten thousand dollars, and it's worth a hundred. Type shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? What sense do that make? That's a fact. So that's why I'm out. I'm be like. You have a tax, but I feel the same way about houses that I feel about <laughs> relation. This does not belong, have to belong yeah, to you. So that's what I was thinking forever. about when you said that shit. It's not when your you forever. We had, our time. we had our time. <laughs> you served me good. I appreciate it. I done came up a little bit. A Move that's, on. Let me funny. find something else. It's funny I, I, that you say that. I had to tell my mama them that. They wanted me to keep that shit. Uh, keep but that's how I felt when I just moved. A thousand miles away. We just moved. And uh, let me pocket my money. <laughs> No, my life. Like, I need that. What you mean? I'm finna okay. be up a little bit more. Yeah. Y'all got a place. <laughs> and I, I'm finna be up a little bit more. Why would I keep this? Why do I need gone. to keep this? It's only to, like, you keep it to sell it or you keep it to be a rental property. Yeah. And a lot of people don't want to be like landlords. landlords. Yeah. Niggas property management be. companies aren't the easiest to work with. Facts. But yeah, that's how I got into real estate. I got bored. I was like tired of education and I stayed in education, but on the side, I was like, let me try to figure out something else. Mm-hmm. I was challenging, my, challenging myself to learn something new. That's lit, low key. And then it just turned into a lane. And then after being a realtor for so long, so you had COVID, everybody was up. We all were doing numbers. Interest rates were dirt cheap. Crazy. All the realtors ran up a bag, big Come on, bag. I need that. Cool. Now, interest rates back up. You got to pivot. That's how I got into flipping properties. But really, I started seeing some of them checks from my builder client. And I'm seeing how much they're getting off of my client. Like, okay, you making this much money off of a new build? And okay, I have the ability to do the same thing that you're doing? I'm about to do that. I'm about to do that. <laughs> why not? No bullshit. No bullshit. I added some letters in there, but why not? Why would I not go no bullshit. and use the bank, my credit, the bank's money, a little bit of capital, and go find some lots? I'm running across lots every day. Dirt cheap lots. Okay, let me put a house on a lot. Type shit. Let me sell it. I know how much bill costs are. I know how much it's going to cost me to build it. I know how much the material are. I know where to go to get the material from. I have my contractors in place to do different things. 
Okay. Everything right there for you. It's all in my hand. So why would I put myself in a box? That's my mantra for 2024. Don't put me in a box. Don't put me in no box. I don't want to be in a box. Don't put me in a box. So yeah, when you see <laughs> may go to flipper, <laughs> may go to realtor, may go to credit consultant. I'm going to do it all. I'm all need need that. I need okay. That. I'm all, all that. I'm hosting. Yeah, I'm a host this event at the five. Man, go the hustler. The hustler. Really? <laughs> what? Man, damn. The hustler is crazy. The hustler. For real. Because it's all a hustle. For but real. at the end of the day, it's I'm, so now you got some different stuff going on. And I don't go too deep into it. But for realtors right now, a lot of realtors shook up. Why? Because it's some, some legal settlements that just took place with the National Association of Realtors. And so basically, they're changing how the commission work. Okay. So they're trying to take some bread from y'all. Is it yeah. the same like nationwide? So yes, okay. it's it's across the board that everybody's going to be experiencing this. And like I say, some people are afraid. Some people are like, "Oh, I'm good." For me, I'm like, "I'm good." Of course, I know the value that I add. I know the value that I bring. I'm not con concerned. But that's also why I have a lot of different streams. Cause I can pivot when I need to. These interest rates still up. All right, cool. Buyers are afraid to buy. All right, cool. Let me go get somebody something that I'm gonna get you something that you, you can sell. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna flip a property. Somebody passed away. Family didn't want the house. Let me swoop in there and get it real quick. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let I me need get that. I need that. Mine, 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 mine. Okay. I need, I need that. I need that. So now, let me gut it. Let me demo it. Put it back on the market. And I'm going to sell it. And I'm going to sell it. And My I'm sign going in the guap. front. I'm going to get some guap off this. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? I like that. Yeah. I Real estate is fun. I, I fuck with you even more. Even though I was about to have to beat you up. You wasn't going to. You was going to get beat up. <laughs> as long as I got seen, that purse. You should have seen how angry you was. Come back to the door. She, she, got, she, about to shoot she said she got something hot for you. As long as I got that purse. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm a real time. I, I moved so long. I got to protect myself. Gotta, so, yeah, I ain't had a little bro with me at the time. So you probably would have been up. He was hot. Bro was in the Man, car. Bro. I'm in her way. She trying to record the video. She looking at me all crazy. I'm trying to park, man. She looking at me crazy. She looking at me like. you came up to her, he was like, "Man, bro, that was her right there." I'm like, "Swear to God." And he walked off. And he mad. Freely, and I'm all on the camera. Let me see your camera. What this do right here? She all in the way. Now she all in here. Now she would be cool. Now, now she see the girl. That was the cool. craziest yeah. thing. I was like, bro, she cool as hell. Hey, no, cool as a fan. Shout out to my nigga, Meg. That is funny. Go, oh, Meg. Go, Meg. Go, Meg. <laughs> that's my song. No bullshit. But no, y'all. Okay, that's right, mama. But yeah, y'all doing y'all doing a good. I, I appreciate what y'all doing. Man, like that, being man. able to get people to coming. come in and connect the dots. Or whatever it means, and just be normal, be human. You know, a lot of yeah, times everything's so structured for me. You know, you gotta do this, gotta do that, gotta do that. And so being able to just chill and shoot the shit, you know. Need that sometimes. You, oh, you need hey, that, I'm bro. a regular person all day, every day. That's what I tell niggas all the time. I'm a regular nigga, bro. People will take like social media and they'll flip that and maybe like all oh, your followers and be like almost think that you like can't be talked to or can't be touched or like too snooty to have a conversation, but Mm -mm. Now y'all know. Yeah. yeah. No. She yeah. just she just hustling, bro. She's I'm hustling. A hustler. Listen, <laughs> when Jay Z on. go and talk to who his his other friends, and then he's talking to his uh, it's two different conversations. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I just want to help people grow. I want to help people be better than what they were before they met me. That's my goal. Yeah. If I could do that in this lifetime, I'm good. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, I need a house, so I'm. A, I'm gonna hit you up. Can you wait? Um, no, click the link in my bio. Want me to yeah, do a promo I'm, video yeah, right now? Right yeah, <laughs> go ahead. I about to say, click the link in your bio, but then <laughs> tell, tell us, tell us your, tell us your Instagram and all anything. Mago that we can the you. Realtor is my Instagram. M E G O. Period. The Realtor. Come on now. Follow me. Follow I follow me. back. 
and all your other coming. business revenues and all your other ventures. You need your in, credit repair. It's all in the same page. It's all on the all same in. page. I, the link tree is there. Everything Click is the there. Link tree, man. If you are a woman, this I need to talk to you. You want to buy a house? I need to talk to you. She looking at. She looking at. You child. don't gotta be. You don't have to be perfect. I'm telling you. It's you a song to say you don't got to be perfect. You do not have to be perfect. May go to real Nobody's yeah, perfect. Nobody perfect. She said if you're trying to get into a house, and if, your, if your credit ain't right, y'all going to fix the credit first. We going to work then on the credit first. The we gonna One stop shop, bro. One stop. Yeah, listen, there get, you go. getting your credit right is One always a positive. Always a positive because then after that, and just, you know, us talking about the house, I'm going to teach you about some business you credit along like, the way. It's always a positive. You know? That's fine. What's yeah. that? The business. Yeah, yeah, we need to. Yeah, we do need to talk to you too on some other shit because we trying to do, get some money. That's easy. That's easy. That's a great response, man. Because I'm looking at. I'm look. I was looking at the, <laughs> the IG zone, and it was like a little notification popped up. It was like you ready to monetize, and I said, "Oh shit!" Like, Come on, you ready to make money on IG? What you was? Oh, oh, that popped up on your thing? No, on, I was on the pod page. Oh, oh yeah, and it yeah. popped up. I was like, "Oh damn!" Yeah, I've been on there for a little bit, fuck. We've been ready to make some money. Absolutely. <laughs> on been, all platforms. We've been on that. You feel me? On we need that platforms. cheese. We need that. Absolutely. No, that's crazy. You got three women already. You just started that shit. I just started. But I'm more so, like, for me, again, it ain't just about the bag, but I'm just thinking about, like, okay, it was Women's History Month that was I'm going sorry, on. That's literally what I was about to ask you. I was, mm-hmm. like, that's how I got to it. I was like, you know okay. what? It's a lot of women. And then it was a lot. The stats had just came out about women being um, owning more real estate than men. I was like, I want to help the men, too. But I know we I think about relationships. I help these women. It's going to help the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's going to help show them what they can do. And then I might do, hey, a, a all male campaign yep. towards the end of the year to help my guys out. So, you know. But I'm helping anybody and everybody at all times. <laughs> I'm trying to get you anybody. Just got this special initiative yeah, it's just going a special initiative for this quarter National that I want women, to help five women specifically. Women's month. Mm-hmm. It was Women's History Month. Women's History Month. Yep. Oh, but this quarter, Q two, I needed five women. I got three. I need two more. And hey, and if I get more than the five, I'm cool with that too. Yeah, it's right. So uh, more is always well. You know, say that, but majority of the time, more is the better. Absolutely. If I if I can help one merrier. person, so if I can help five, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Real cool with that. That's lit. That's super lit. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me about that. Do I have something else? I have some on my I'm thing. I've been watching. You know? I'm paying attention. I appreciate that. I'm trying to soak up game too. So. Get it out. It's free. I don't. So that's another thing. Before we get out, I don't hoard information. As you can tell, like I, I'm an open book. You don't got like. I do have an ebook that's about to drop. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have an ebook that's about to drop. About finalizing that real estate. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's about real estate. Real estate. Yeah, it's about real estate. Um, so I got an ebook I'm about to drop, but I don't. You can call like that. My number is posted all over the internet. Prefer to you to click click the link in my bio so I can track it and all of that. Oh, but I appreciate when people could, like pick up the phone and just call me. Okay. Hey Megan, I got your information off Instagram. What's up? Let's talk. What you got? What time you usually be done with work? Depends on the depends day. On what's happening? It depends on the day. Hey, like she says, she's an entrepreneur what, what at heart. Said, no, I'm already know. That phone don't day. stop. That phone don't stop. It, it depends on the day. I was sitting the counter out earlier. Oh, yeah, I know you getting money. I know you moving around. I know you doing. I'm, that. yeah. And then so many things. I just said, oh, let me make a, a to do list for tonight. Oh, shit. Yeah. So the the evening don't stop. But I don't, if I see the phone ringing. Okay, I'm going to answer. Okay. And if Ooh. I say, hey, let's pick up the conversation tomorrow, we're going to pick it up tomorrow. But if I can answer real quick, why not? Yeah. It's it's times when I unplug completely, but I let people know I'm unplugged. I'm going to send you a minute. Hey, I'm going to reach back out to you as soon as I get back in the office. I need a little break, decompress, revamp, reset, refocus. But, out, <coughs> man, we grinding. Getting that. Ooh. We grinding. We hustling. They getting that paper. That that's what they say. That pay. That money. That money. That money. My nephew stopped me there. <laughs> that money. <laughs> that <laughs> money. These little niggas say we get that money. Yeah, we get that money. Yeah, that pay. 
We go. We go. We go. Uh, we coming. We coming to the right five. Media you keep trying to ask me. There you go right here. Yeah, you fuck. Got... Yeah, I ain't messing with you no more, nigga. You got I'm not a, right <laughs> you I'm got not a realtor. No, no, nah, me, me and this nigga was we talking about trying to get some. Well, yeah, it, it would fall under you too still, but we trying to get properties so we can, you know, what I'm saying, go crazy too. You know what I'm saying? That's why you at the like. Come but on. I'm only saying that to him because he, his family do that. I was just say that for like a bad, yeah. yeah. They, they, the his his bro. daddy got you know what I'm saying. His pops got he, he do that, so he he familiar with the. Don't worry about asking him no more. You can't ask. Yeah, me. I'm not fucking with bro no more. I wasn't there when he did this. Still though, I figured you would have got some. Don't worry, about it. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no. okay. Sure. It's okay. I told him when he and he bring that to me. Yeah. Like she just said, oh, that's gone. That shit gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get. It's, <laughs> it's probably gonna gone. be some shit coming to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to listen. I'm talking about selling it. I'm I know you that's about. what I'm telling you. I put a sign. They know it. They know. Don't call me to. You. Do you want to sign it? It's in know? Milwaukee though. You got. I ain't. My... Take the little. That's another reason why it's gone. Take that little test and go Milwaukee. on. Yeah, I'm ready to roll. <laughs> what? <laughs> we move. She said, "I ain't, I ain't what had is no it? reason to go to Milwaukee. <laughs> where the money resides." <laughs> So you said some paper, it's some money on up there. Paper up there. Okay, let me know. I need to go. That y'all didn't tell me y'all talking about state fair and barbecue. <laughs> well, that's me. That's my personal <laughs> thing. Yeah, okay, that's why I really need to go. I ain't been up there. Okay, let me go check let me that go out. See what's happening. Yeah, yeah, it'll be. Yeah, I'm not staying. I'm not trying to live in Milwaukee no more. Though that shit over with. That weather trash. I'm cool in Dallas. Yeah, I'm cool in color. Dallas. I know this is different, but when you was doing your book, what was you doing when you when you when you when you decided to do the ebook? What what was where was you at in the mind in your head? This easy, and everybody need to know about it. Oh, oh so just wanting people just, to know just about to share it. the information. Okay, because now, so it's two part home ownership. That's one part, but you got a lot of people who fall in love with the lifestyle of a realtor. Okay, okay. So I got a lot of people reaching out to me. How do I become a realtor? How do I do this? And how do I do that? Let me show Man, you. Famed out realtors. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. Damn. So you got realtors or regular people who are wanting to become realtors or be where you are. And you got people who want to become homeowners. So it's two, two folds of real estate. And just being able to just give you it. Not really give because it is a book, so you have to purchase something. Type shit, but, but still, you gotta invest in yourself. That's and it's, I just look at it as an investment to your future. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. It ain't, it ain't gonna break like it's gonna be a million dollars. Yeah, it ain't gonna be a million dollars. No, it ain't. It ain't. <laughs> it's, it's just a way for you to advance. You know yep. That's crazy. But having an idea is the hardest part. If y'all don't take nothing else, for that's sure. the hardest part. Let let the let the world know when your mixes be. I think it's every third Tuesday. Yeah, we switched it up this month because it was um we had some stuff going on just with us. But our next mixer is I don't know when this is gonna drop. Um, this week. Oh, okay, April twenty third at All the right. Five Bistro, seven o'clock. You can get there seven thirty eight o'clock. We're gonna have a panel discussion with some really good inspectors, lenders. Um. What else we got? A contractor where they're able to kind of like tell you what they got going on, tell you what deals they're seeing, that type of thing. But every third Tuesday at the Five Bistro, Black and Real Estate, it, you don't have to be a realtor. You don't have to be in real estate right now. But if you're looking to get into real estate, if you're looking to learn about the home buying process, come pull up. Get some good vibes, some good drinks. I'm about to say, hookah, drinks there, hookahs there, hookah, yeah. whatever food, you need. Food is bomb. Food is great. Learn the about real estate, great. all facets of the real estate. It's not just anybody who's in the industry. You could be trying to get in the industry, or you could just be trying to buy a house, or trying to become an investor, or trying to become a developer, and just needing to be in the right rooms with those people who can That's get true. you there. Are you? Does this? Does this section of? <laughs> of your umbrella does this have its own like platform or you just run this through your regular platform I run this through my regular platform okay all your shit on one spot don't put me in a box I want you to know all the shit is mine all of it's mine <laughs> why well, I gotta <laughs> separate it out all the shit cause is I'm, mine cause I've made it where it all works together 
type shit. It's my, my credit shit. All, it's it all, all intermingled. It's, yeah, yeah. it's all, all working man. together. So I've, I've created that strategically to say, if you need a house, I can get you a house. I need a, but if your credit ain't right, but you still want a house, they click that link. That click that link. And then know I'm human at the same time. I I tried that having two, three separate pages and, it's oh, this is my personal net. No, you need to know that I'm Megan. Yeah. You need to know what lifestyle I, I live. You need to know that I got a daughter. They're right on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to know that shit. You, you need to know that I, hey, I might be out of town, turned up. I'm human. I'm regular. Regular nigga. That's seven. it. That's me. I'm saying regular nigga, not you. No, you good. <laughs> yeah. Go but get yeah, my One nephew, page, yeah. may go to real turn on Instagram. I got yeah. a Facebook, Megan Giles, if that's. Who you looking for? Facebook is your Megan best Giles. way. Megan Giles. Oh, Facebook the best way to contact no, you? No, Instagram. My phone IG, number. That that IG. phone number you see in that 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 bio. That's it. That's it. It's yeah. <laughs> the best way to do it. Okay. Come on, man. Clap it up. Go clap it up. 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 Shout, shout out to another good day. Hey, man. Shout out to Meg the Hustler. We ain't even gonna call it <laughs> no more. No. The, the Hustler, bro. She, the Hustler. Uh, and then you can Go see Meg. everything that falls Go under Meg. the hustle under the Go page, Meg. man. Go Meg. Go Meg. Go Meg. Yeah. Go Meg. yeah. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> Make sure y'all click the link in her bio to see everything she does. That's She's not right. only a realist. That's why we can't name the Meg the Hustler, bro. <laughs> Shout out to it. Shout out to the guys. Hey, Make sure y'all go to the YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. All that shit is for free, bro. Funny content, good health and wealth content like this. We got some good content. We plugging right? folks, man. We plugging folks with good information that a lot of folks just don't get for the free. Or if we don't have it, we giving y'all the the lanes nah, and the people that got the information you. that y'all Somebody need. You know what I'm saying? Too. We gonna find it out who needs what, and we gonna bring them in front of y'all, and there y'all go. Y'all can reach out to them personally. You feel me? So shout out to everybody that's been on so far. For real, for real. I'm definitely fucking with y'all. Yeah. Definitely fucking with y'all. Shout out to Megs for coming today. You got something you want to say before you get up out of here? No, I just appreciate y'all having me. I had a really good time. Thank you. Daddy appreciate daycare it. version. Really? One more time, shout out to the ebook coming soon. Daddy daycare version. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool.